and I should be showing up. There you are. There you are. Why is it take so long to show up? That's so weird. Though. How's it going, guys? Welcome. What up? Welcome to the stream. Hope this like this. <clears throat> that looks better to me. We split the chat, kinda. No way. So we recognize which one is YouTube and which one is uh, Twitch. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> I hope everything is working. My microphone is working. Desktop audio is working. Let's do it. We usually do it. And let me go ahead. And first of all, silence the game audio. And next, we play a song. Hopefully a non copyrighted song. So let me check on my audio stuff they have. What do I have that is not copyrighted and will not get me killed by YouTube? Or Twitch? Hmm. Oh, that's very good. Don't believe it's copyrighted. Alright guys, how's it going? What up? Welcome. On Sophius, it's 20. Oh my god, it's already 8 p.m. for you? Damn. We have quite a difference. Right now it's 3 p.m. for me. Hello. Hello, Tosi Wolf. Hello, Berry. Hello, Tosi Wolf again. Hello, Behemoth. What up? Welcome. Let's join the Discord. Nice, Consofius. Welcome. Hope you are all having a pack of Greek of yogurt by your side. I don't believe I do. Sadly. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, so hello, Levi Raccoon. I go very early, very early. Happy of Cosmico, welcome. Just do whatever. Hello. El Pollo. Hi, Raccoon, yo soy el Pollo. Did I? I don't remember saying that. So hopefully you guys are doing amazing. How are you all doing today? We're starting very slowly, because as per usual, I wake up very sleepy. Mm. And, well... You get to see what a sleepy raccoon looks like, or sounds like, I guess. Today we will win, I believe it is, um, Abella, which is one of the few characters I haven't actually played in Maso mode. So it's gonna be an interesting experience. Happy Cosmico. Hold on. Hello, Gabby. What up? How's it going there? Oh boy, I really hope this song has no copyright to it. Holy shit. I'm really scared. You know what? You know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna bet more anymore than that. I think that's fine. Let's let's go back to the usual because I'm scared of fucking getting copyrighted. We're not gonna be risking the copyright on anyone. Of myself. But only on to that part, because I'm scared. I don't know if the world ends with you, has copyright or not. I'm doing good, it's still really hot here. Oh, that sucks. How are you doing? Well, right now, I just woke up and I'm doing pretty well so far. I wasn't, I was thinking that today I was going to have my technicians come, technicians come in to fix my, my internet, but I guess nope. They came one hour earlier than expected and I was sleeping at the time and I didn't, well, 15 minutes earlier actually. They called me. I couldn't answer because I was sleeping. My alarm sounded 15 minutes later, and they were gone. Yeah. Shit as fuck. I don't more like TF2 engineer. Based on how we play, maybe that makes more sense. Yeah, possibly. But this guide will consist of ways on to play and how to play this thing. That is Avella. I wonder if the bot did the alarm for everyone to join. Oh, it did? Yeah, there you go. Good, 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 good. I love this song so much. We're just relaxing, slowly getting into the rhythm. We're going to rush a change of more likely. It will be the best way to deal with most enemies since Chainsaw is the way to 
Just destroy the game. Oh Lord, teach wisdom. Give me a second. If you want wisdom? Let me let me think about it, okay? Un segundo. Give me give me give me a second. Soul Nether Dust. Hmm. Here's the wisdom for the hour. Despite all the pain that you go through, remember that you are sharing your pain with your past self. Okay? And your past self might catch up to you to remind you of the pain that you went through. However, as the pain will catch up, the happiness and the good things you've done in the past will also catch up to you. So the thing you lost will come back, and the friends you lost will also come back. The pain will come back, of course. But you gotta take always the positive stuff of what you lose. All right? That is the raccoon wisdom of the day. Please do take the positive stuff from the past that you've done and carry it with you, despite the negative stuff getting in the way. That was the raccoon wisdom for the hour. Hope you liked it. Apparently today I couldn't receive a package because I was napping. Oh my god. Exactly. It it does. It does suck to be honest. Quite shitty. <clears throat> I have like one K and I have like another one K to my window. Hey, nice. I didn't, I didn't need my inner child to make you feel like I'm joking or sleepy. I couldn't, sorry. <laughs> Had to happen. Sometimes you get this rare spawn of Raccoon Wisdom. By the way, I think I should probably change the image that we have up there. I like it a lot. But we need to allow others to show their images as well. Now let me see which one it plays. I love that one though. No? The Raccoon Wisdom is amazing. But let's see. Could be. Let's see. I like Helen Raccoon. Helen Raccoon really fits well, I think. It's the vibe. Hmm. Damn it, I don't know which one. I feel like Cookie Raccoon today. It's been a while since I I had this one though. But then again, I'll think about it. For now, Cookie Raccoon, if anyone wants another art up here, you guys let me know and I will put another one. But I, if today I feel like a cookie. There you go. <clears throat> That's it. The indomitable, the indom indomitable human spirit. It is true. All right. You love today's Raccoon Fizzle? You got it. It's today for the hour, of course. All right. Let's get into the game then. And let's start with this guide. So first of all, of course, new game. You go ahead, you pick a villain. And you go master mode. I wonder how many of you like Avela. Because I like, know she's very strong. Thank you for the wisdom, Dark and God. Thank you. Thank you for the redemption. Well, the redeem, I guess. Yeah. So, thank you so much. We don't skip the character history because she's very useful for us. Now, this is the first choice. I'm going to look it up just to not mess it up and let you guys know as I'm going through it because the list that I want is to mess up on the character creation backstory <clears throat> and give the bo the well give a bad thing you know a bad guy all right so first of all we have learned electro electronics which gives you short circuit short circuit i marked it before in my skills tier list that i have which in case you want to know about it i talk about many skills in the game also talking about the skills on a scenario 
but we will have him on master mode, normal mode, maybe in easy mode as well. And I pretty much delve into like a proper tier list that is kind of difficult to go through since difficulty it is subjective. The video is called skill tier list in case you would like to check it out. Other than that, in this one I talk about electronics, electronics also a short circuit being really good <clears throat> if you are not able to get a hexen. For example, that we show, uh, with Master Mode, you don't have a hexen until the end of the half, well, at the half of the game, let's say, where you get to the hexen at the orphanage. And uh, it's very difficult to move around if you are a new player and you don't have Short Circuit, because Short Circuit allows you to go through the, well, the tunnels, right? And it's, it really opens up a lot for you to go through new places and explore more and loot more before getting to the Hexen, respectively. It's mostly for people who want to explore and route around a different path than the one I chose most of the time. And I will be taking it because I want to show you guys the path that you can take with short circuits. So I will be taking this, but <laughs> rest assured that maybe mechanics might be better. What does mechanics do is the question that you have. It gives you range toss. Range toss allows you to stun a limb of an enemy while also dealing quite a bit of damage. And it can be read up three times to deal enough damage to usually one shot enemies in the torso in normal mode. I do not believe you can one shot enemies in the torso in master mode. I don't believe that's possible. <clears throat> so using it as an offensive attack will not really be something useful. Maybe if against a dog on the torso, stunning them over and over again so they cannot do anything. <clears throat> Maybe stunning something that is very dangerous in an arm, for example. It helps a lot. So if you want to stun, also deal some damage, this could be nice. Maybe stunning Levi's torso over and over again when they're moon scorched will allow you to just get through the fight easily without having to take any damage at all. Again, it's not that much damage, so don't expect to break the game. You also need to kill Marco to get the ability Adrenaline Rush, which allows you to have damage. <clears throat> how, how much HP do builders have in mass mode? The same HP as in normal mode, the only thing is that your character will be dealing this damage. They have the same HP in every single difficulty, as far as I know. And it's just your damage that is scaled down or up. It's not like Fear and Hunger... Um, one where enemies HP I believe are scaled differently I think at least I think so don't quote me on that but you wouldn't go for damage let's say in any run damn new PNG it's been a while Christus <laughs> it's been a really long while what do you mean since I changed my PNG very very long time ago but yes you would take the range if you want to stun lock an enemy slim that you you think is very important or also deal a lot of damage but i would say take short circuits so you can have more openings throughout the map it will help you out a lot better just don't focus on killing stuff until you get to the hexen plus you're a vela you already have a chainsaw at the end so it's not even worth it in fighting anything <clears throat> can you complete the game with intro skills only yes you can you easily can okay so second option we have here we can report to the man repand the man to the officials which gives us three lucky three shillings and a one lucky coin which is pretty decent since characters start with mo uh, with money already and this gives you more money as our game and the second one gives you the officer sword if you are planning to make the heroin sword which requires heroin and an officer sword which poisons enemies you might as well go with officer sword I wouldn't recommend you since we are getting the chainsaw which is a lot better in many ways but if you want poison only you take the man back home and treat his wounds so we're gonna be taking report to the man to the official so we get money and a lucky coin okay, I wanna start as well. yeah I've been away from watching this it's okay don't worry Chris takes a good buddy good to see you here again then we have two questions which is Listen. Help with creating webinars and help with creating traps. 
You know already which one we're gonna go for. <clears throat> Traps are not really important in the game that much. I like, like yes, they are very useful. However, the reason why they're not important right now in this patch is because of how expensive it is to craft a trap in this game. Very, very expensive. So you're not gonna be able to just craft them easily. It's gonna take you a while. And by that time it's like, eh, you know? Hey, do you start looking for a bit? No, no, no. We're just starting. We are just starting. Conceiflus, Conceiflus. Conceiflus, sorry. Um, but yeah, traps are very expensive. If you wanna make traps, sure. But I would say just save a soul stone and get weapon craft. Which is the reason why we can we are able to break the game with most physical characters. Getting weapon craft allows you to craft four weapons, one of them being the chainsaw, which hits three times, applies bleeding, and hits three times, so you're gonna go for the head, right? Easily. Now here's something very interesting that I didn't know before. If you go for medical goods, you get two blue vials and one close fragment, as usual, which is good for new players. Stock of food is useless, don't go for it. However, spare part gives you, and this is something I didn't know a lot, and I was streaming, uh, speedrunning a lot, a lot of time, choosing with blue vials so I could heal up. But spare parts gives you four bolts, two duct tapes, three scrap metal, and two pressure plates, which is enough to make the chainsaw right away at the start. As soon as you get the the chainsaw from the the mob or from the forest, so we technically don't even need to touch the hexen in this playthrough because we have everything we need. This is how strong Avela is. We're gonna save the character. Thank you for the headpad, Lottie Wolf. And let's start it. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Mushrooms too. Whatever on that. <laughs> Rotten meat. <clears throat> That's good for the dogs. Or a lander. That's good. You mean the bench right now? Yeah. We we call it the chainsaw uh, because. I like how it's called as a chainsaw. Now, we need to be either routing for the left or the right. Because if we start from the right, we can now go to the left, of course, as usual. This is massive mode, like usually I say, and your mind is going to be going down. So routing here to know where to go to spend the less time. Before you get panophobia, which is the fear of everything, which happens when you get zero mind, it's very important in my opinion. And also, uh, if you plan on what to do before doing it, it allows you to not backtrack. Which in this game, if you backtrack, you will be getting attacked by death masks. Because the way the death masks work is that once you go past them once, you're free to go through. However, the second time that you go past them, they're gonna get up and they're gonna chase you and they're gonna be always there. There's, I believe there's two death masks in all town, so you should be careful. Oversized bread cutter, yeah. So, one thing we can do, like I said before, if we go right right now, like, I'm gonna show you, right? If we go right, in this screen we are safe to loot everything. Okay? Hello, Popo, how's it going? What up? Welcome. If we go right, one more screen, the timer of rare will begin and we're not gonna be able to come back to the train safely for us because each screen transition that happens will add five seconds to the clock of the scorch timer, which you will be killed instantly if you reach zero. Now, right here, if we go to the right, we are locked to go through the place where people scratch your faces and we're forced to go down into um, the sewer area so we can loot more stuff. However, we, if we don't have a small key, we cannot go past that place yet. 
And then if we go past the mayor, and then we go to the left to the bunker, at the bunker, we can use short circuit to go through the sewers. But then again, we also need a small key. So if you start from the left, you are going to go to the right, which is to the small shack where the people who are scratching their faces are. And you're playing on getting a small key so you can route around. Okay. Now I will show you, uh, I guess I will show you a mistake so you can learn from this. It will be better for you because people ask me, why don't you go from to the left? And I will show you specifically why this happens. Okay. I have never gone to the left, but because we have short circuit, we have a high chance of getting a small key because we're going to the, um, to the, to the bunkers using short circuit. I'll show you on the list. More like Moonburn. Ah. But yes, uh, if you want to watch the other videos I've done of the, the guys, you'll see that I go right and then end the list and then I end up going through the main gate without triggering a single desk. Uh, the same blue. This one, blue. Blue? What is blue? Or whatever. We get this green herb here, which is really useful. We have enough time to get this one as well. And now we should be able to go here and get another green herb. What is blue? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Not? A chat real smooth. We get to see this, which we haven't seen ever. Because we never go this way. And Right here, the route is a little different because one, we will not have the time like we had before to get the dogs juking around going downwards if we want to juke the highway around because the woodsmen will more than likely get into a fight with you. <clears throat> so what we're going to do right now is we're going to distract the woodsmen Bro, it's a meme. Look it up. Thank you, bro. You made my day. I'm scared to look it up. That's so obvious. Did not know you could dodge the center that easily. It's all everything. Yeah, it does. It's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead <coughs> and we're gonna juke this guy. Because we don't want him to be around when we come back. We need to lead him outside if we can, like this, to the right. Because we're relying on him not being in the way. If we don't get rotten meat, because uh, we're going from the left and we're not gonna be getting that much loot, therefore we're not getting rotten meat. More than likely. Now here is a difficult and different way to dodge stuff. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna try to loot on the right as fast as we can to not trigger the uh, old lady, the lady. Because if she gets to us, it's going to be that difficult uh, dodge if we don't know how to dodge. So it will be like this. And now she didn't see us, so we're safe. We might see her on the left as soon as we pick. Ah, she saw us. Well, this is pretty much what we're trying to not do. This is a difficult dodge scenario. But if you have to do it, you got to do it like this. Then you loot. And if you want to go back to the house to juke again and to restart a timer, you can do that. That is risky to do and should be you should be careful doing that. i show you why. That's also why I don't take lift because you need to do that to loot the place. Then you keep looping here. And then you can go left, which allows you to not have anyone chasing after you. We're going to come out. We don't want the lady here. So we're going to push her away. Well, well. Maybe not. Well, right now, we really have no choice. Uh, we don't have what is known as uh, agility to be able to run away safely. So the best thing we can do is try to take her out. We're going to take some damage. It's not going to be that much because this is not the village that has, uh, that has the bear trap. So we should be fine. Another good thing about Avela, which you should not rely, by the way, 
you shouldn't land this. It's pipe range. Pipe range has a very high chance of stunning enemies when hitting them normally. So you can go ahead and just hit the torso afterwards, or like a, an arm that will be able to do damage to you, like insane damage. You can just stop it. There you go. We don't wanna, like, we don't wanna have to kill enemies if we can for master mode. That was a mistake. But pretty much, if we would have gone up here and then we would have tried to come back, more than likely she would have uh, caught us here out the, on the outside. This guy will be trouble. So we try to push him away. We're trying to leave them in better, in best way, in the best ways possible. So we don't have to deal with them. There you go. That might be that may be good enough, in my opinion. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go. We're not even owning that game. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> Damn. Looping? What do you mean looping? Oh well, yeah. We're trying to save one coin to us for the vial when we can. We guess all the our necklace one of the use most less, most useless items in the game. Because when it comes to accessories, there's better stuff you can use in this game. You pick the own household. Oh no. Let's see what we get here. We got Sylvia, which allows us to heal broken bones in case we do need to. Book of Fenlami we just got, which allows us to save the game. Another reason why you take right <coughs> when going through. This is like, like the same a mistake, mostly. But if you take left from leaving the train, once you get to this place, you usually do have either God of Fear and Hunger or a Book of Enlightenment. To be able to draw here or anything that you want, like all mirror, right? Or God of Hunger, because only those two can be drawn here in this place. Right now, we come, we start with the game, and we have this bookshelf and the and the woodsman's uh, bookshelf. We don't get much from looting. Well, starting from the right, we will have like seven bookshelves to loot, or even more at times. So you will have more than likely a chance to get either a book of alignment or, or or God of Hunger to be able to get your build going. So you can save right away, and you can also get Book of Enlightenment easily. Does Anna Kids Poison work on needles? I believe it does, yes. It should work. By the way, some parts of the village remains on RE4. It pretty much is like that, in a way. That's what it's based on. Based also the, the enemies change position depending on how you enter the place. If you enter from the right, there will be enemies on the, on the left, stuff like that. Right now, I don't believe we have food. We don't have two, but we have four, I mean. Um, if you don't have four, you would have to go all the way down here and get to the woodsman house and then juke the dogs again. Like, move all the dogs down here, over here, all the way down until the end of the screen. But because we have uh, four rotten meat, thankfully, we are able to kill them without taking damage. You will be able to talk to them. You give them rotten meat. You get talk to them again. You give rotten meat. And you attack, and they will wait one turn here for you to attack them. They didn't stand. You can see that they are uh, just giving me a turn. And there you go. Now we kill the other one, so we don't have to deal with. It. Hello, Sarah. How's it going? Uh, welcome, welcome. Hey yo. Kitty genie. And the only one with the second moves. This is still having plus usually, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much just a strat on these guys. And we go ahead and go into the bunker. Because we go into the bunker, we can actually decide to leave Old Town right away. As soon as we get here, because if we have a small key, we can leave. It is not uh, something that you should do, because you're missing out on so many books that you could be looting. And missing out on books is not a good idea. Hello, Gilbo. How's it going, Buddha? Welcome. What's up? Let's get double coin toss. Let's see. A booby trap. That's really good. If you get a shotgun, that's going to help us a lot. We got cloth fragment. 
We got bolt. We got gas canister. Pretty good stuff. Why I get to see a run? Yeah. I'm also showing a mistake on how to play with a vela with short circuit, which is starting from the left. A mistake that kind of end up in you doing a good idea and a good decision because of starting from the left. But you'll see what I mean. Don't worry. We have needles here alive because we are a vela, so needles will be the one here showing up. Oh, this is something that can happen. If this happens, just make sure to just block this place. We have one less contestant to deal with, which is going to be Tanaka. This is something that just happens. It's a glitch. It happens sometimes. Oh yeah, need to start a thing. We're going to be coming back for that uh, coin soon. But for now, we don't have to deal with it. This is how you deal with needles right now. If you go up left right now, like, like this, you can actually get into a fight with him, so don't even look at him. You're gonna get into a fight and you're gonna die. Um, however, a Needles currently has no HP on the head right now. So one thing that you can do if you have pep pills like I do right now is you can ah, you also need to have a gas canister, which is very important. But we don't have one, sadly. If we have a gas canister and if we have what is known as pep pills. You can kill him right now. What ending? We're waiting. We're doing ending B and A if possible. I wait for an earlier run. Maybe. Because of us having short save, we're gonna get every single loot here. We get gas canister. We get everything here. We go like this, and we can get a chest here coming up. These things have. A chance to give you to give you gas canisters as well as small things. Well, no, sorry, small keys. Sorry. We got heads again. Nice. Eighteen mass. That's very useless, I believe. Very useless stuff again. Does this make Tanaka the official second place in the event in a way? Yeah. Two winch we got. Really good. You tend to get also zero winch as well. It has a not a high chance of give you, but because you're going through so many uh, places with short circuit, you will be able to find a short winch early. If you get a small key, you should proceed ahead because there's a door down here that you can open. If you have small uh, small key, we don't have one right now. We also don't have any way of recording our mind or than a beer, so this could end up in a panophobia run. We'll see. Still, we shouldn't be worrying about that. We are going to be fine. Now, because I said before that you can kill needles if you have a pep pill and a gas canister, I will be showing it up. It is not guaranteed to happen per se, but you have a high chance of it working. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how it is. You can make this even easier if you have a booby trap, but we're not gonna be using this. We're just gonna use pep pills. We're gonna be able to heal ourselves if we can. To 90, that 90 HP should be enough, I think. We have Pepils active. <clears throat> I can start with Booby Trap. I don't believe it works, sadly, so we're not doing it. And we have a gas canister, which will allow us to kill Nils. This is mostly something that you shouldn't be doing, but you can do it if you are in the early game right now, because nothing really like matters that much as well for you to care much about it. We can get uh, a fire weapon going if you want. It is not important, but you can have it if you want. It's not that bad. Pretty much applies fire on any enemy that you fight, but you're replacing the stun with fire. You can do it. It is not guaranteed though. Because of how we're playing right now, we don't really need the stun on anything. So we're just gonna be crafting it and using it, because why not? And it looks cool, I never get to use it. Okay, we got papers right now. So first thing first, you get to fight. Second you guard, so you dodge the coin toss. Alright. Now, we are either going to go glass shards or go gas canisters. I prefer gas canister. We guard again, because we're not gonna risk it. Then we dodge the coin toss. Now we go for a gas canister, and we should be good to go if we don't get unlucky. 
This is a 95% chance to hit the head, so needles will be going down if you do it correctly. You don't have a high chance of finding pebbles, so don't feel bad if you cannot kill needles early. The only thing that needles does, or like you do with kill needles, is allows you to get heroin for the future. Which also removes a threat from the overworld for you to not be worried about it. That's mostly it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get some beer because it's going down. And there we go. Clown going down. If you rely on lag, go ahead and use glass shards. They have a chance to miss, so don't expect them to always hit, but they are very important for you to try to blind uh, to blind uh, the clown. But don't ever fight him without your circuit. Now because we have a short circuit, we can get this, which gives you ammo that is randomized as far as I know. And we can get this chest, which gives us nothing. Hello, welcome back. Happy you. The chainsaw is like the only we weapon that can justify weapon kind of skills. I mean, if you have a full thing with every single uh, status effect, it's really good to be honest. But yes, the chainsaw is really, really good for a sort of weapon. We get the keys, so we can open the main gate here, and we op we pick up one of the thirty generators that we need. We find bullshit, and we go here. Now, because I always do this, I I have to say to you guys that you should not be doing this, especially with the low HP right now. I could be dying here, more than likely, it could happen. But you don't have to fight these guys. You don't have to do anything with them. You can just leave them be. They're really not important to deal with. However, I like stealing their pearls, so I will be stealing their pearls right now. And it's something that I love doing, and I am very sorry, but I love doing this. It feels really good, and I will be doing it. But don't do this. If you're playing following my guide, don't steal their pearls. There is absolutely no reason to do it. You don't get anything worth it. <coughs> For your run at all. Nope, you don't. Nope, you don't. Do not. Okay. Now we keep going. This is my interest. Why do I need an extra skill to tape to my heroin? Eh, yeah, that's true. Kind of feels like that. We're saying one coin to again, like I said before. Four vial. We have a booby trap again. Nice. When we get a shotgun, we'll be shining with those booby traps. Pretty useful, pretty useful. I'm gonna go all the way out here. We move out of the last second. They're stuck there. <clears throat> We're gonna wait. We're gonna put ourselves here. We're gonna move out of the way at the last second. There you go. To inflict poison. Yeah. A 24 mine is going down. You can also juke this one. Just in case you don't want to fight them at all. We're going to move him up as much as we can. We don't have to deal with him. I will go in. Okay, see you soon. Ryuk over. That's how you get all the balls. We don't run until our tension goes away. There you go. Now we can safely run. Because the mine, uh, the, the energy will be drained out like quickly. If we run before. We go up here, we are careful not to run into that guy, because if they start with a bear trap, we'll be taking damage for no reason at all. We will have to guard the bear trap. <coughs> now I believe because we start from the left, I don't think you trigger the death mask if you go into the shop. I think not. Don't quote me on this. Okay, because my friend Preasor tells me all the time that you can go inside the shop and the death mask will not be counted as out. So if you want to trust him, go ahead and go inside the place. But in my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea. I guess it's because this is a guide, I might as well show it to you. But we're going to go ahead inside. There was a death mask outside there. You see, right there. So we're gonna go inside, and if the death mask shows up as soon as we leave 
the area where the Deathmas is, we, uh, well, I, I will show you and Predator that it's not safe to go inside the shop. The reason why you want to be in here is because of Chalk and because of matches. Matches are very important for you to get your mind back. So I will be buying nine, so it should be better like that. And healing, if you want healing, you can buy blue vials as well. I don't like it, so I don't mind. I'm gonna go outside. If this must get up, we need to run away. Okay, it didn't get up. All right. Okay, it is fa it, it is safe to go in uh, near, well, inside the shop with the death master. But if we come back and we move past it, the death mask will be getting up. This is another reason why, um, right here, where we are right now, another reason why you would enter from the left. If you enter from the left, there's no enemies here. So your route over here will be from, you go, you enter the place here and you go right. Don't go down, go right. As you go right, keep running, keep looting as fast as you can. <laughs> and go in here, get this item, get this book, get this item, and keep going, keep going, keep going. And if you did it safely, you should be fine to come back. You can also camp inside that place if you are being seen. But if you do it like I did, as fast as I did, you should be fine to be able to just have no interest at all in juking those guys, which helps a lot to be honest. Hello lasagna, I'm not a dog. I'm a raccoon, lasagna. What? My grinder, not meat pie, delicious metaphor. Meat pie. Oh no. Delicious metaphor. <laughs> delicious meat pie. Listen, we have the meat pie, don't worry too much about it. All good. Let's see if this run is going to be ending in a Panophobia run. Let's see. Pom pom. Remember to do everything because you could be finding beer easily or vodka, which will allow you to survive further away into the game. We don't really need to go back with. Oh, we have a death mask. That's pretty good. That give you, gives you more magic damage if in case you go magic, but also gives you a lot of defense. A lot. We got this guy here. Are you going to Shurgan Pura Vela this run? Oh, wait. <laughs> Hello, Valence. How's it going? What up? Welcome. Alchemilia 3. Many Friars. Price Power. We got a uh, Tinderbox. Which are matches. Which we can use here. We have 32 mine. We turn this on. We have 39. That's also another reason why we want to go from the left to the right. It helps quite a lot. 46. To have these candles lit up for us to be able to survive. I believe. There are candles down here. Oof. Um, I think there are candles down here. I didn't turn them. Where are they? Let me see. Let me check. I don't think they are. No. Okay, sorry. Uh, but any candle that you see, check your inventory, light it up, and see if uh, you are able to get mine from it, because sometimes it glitches. But that's going to allow you to continue through the game easily. Um, I believe I looted everything. Let me check just in case. Nothing interest. Nothing interest. No, no, no. No. Did you know this? Ah, yeah, yeah. It gives you sanity to do that. Yeah, yeah. Then you know, but it brings me joy how pouty you get every time. Oh. Damn. <laughs> 45 mine into 52. Just like that. Boom, boom. And now we talk with Henry, we sit down with him. And we're asking what happened. What happened here? Oh, those are cotton candy. Oh, those are snakes. That's a rainy day. And I don't know. Bam, bam. We got peppers again. Really good. Pam pam. Really good. All right. We cannot kill Henrik because he's a massive beast and will kill us more than likely. But we don't want to deal with it at all. We do not want to. No, we don't. We have a bear trap. We can deal with this guy. 
right now. So if you have a dare trap, make sure to kill this guy. He's difficult to kill, so only make sure to kill him if you either have air trap or there's more to it, but I cannot really showcase right now. Just say that bird is the best way. Just like that. Look at that. He has a head and we're going for the head because it's shown to us. There you go. And just like that, we get a Salson in the head, which allows us to get more Salsons. This guy also gets out of the house if you leave him alive. So he's a threat to you. We do have Sylvian right now. We have Sylvian right now. Where we can actually sacrifice our limbs if you want to fight Henrik. It's not something that you should be doing though, at all. Because you can lose limbs easily. If we had um, Iron Guards, it would be very useful for us. All the more necklace. I didn't know. Oh. I uh, thought it was just for it to not go down. No, 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 no. It's just for super mind moment. Though sometimes it just doesn't work. That's the rainy day. Hey, Sapphire, I did. I think I, really, I believe you were asking for the video of the center. I did make it and I uploaded it to my YouTube. So you can guide yourself with it. Hope you like it. I find it funny you can just say your antlers on those two questions. Oh my god. I didn't notice until you said it. Damn. Savage, as they say. Ahabre. Tails. Trika, bear trap. So many traps. I like it. We're going really well with the traps. We're doing pretty well. Funny outside of the house and the unknown made me streak. Yep, that's why you don't want him living alive. That also is another reason why. He's a menace. So right here, we have something we can do, which is very dumb. But... Technically, if you have fire damage, you could kill Henrik. We have gas canister, we have pepils, we could kill him. And the reason why we could kill him is because we have Sylvian here. It's not gonna do as much to kill Henrik this early into the game. But it's something you can do. <clears throat> I will show you guys. Because we have a, uh, a book of enlightenment. That you can kill him if you want to. But it's a very difficult fight. Like I would not. Not a dog. Sapphire. God damn it. Why is everyone calling a dog? What the hell? I, do, I wouldn't recommend this. Only do this if you have either fire. Either with your weapon. Crazy Koga, Koga the King, Koga the King, thank you for the subscription on YouTube. If you're here, welcome. If you're not, welcome as well. I would recommend it if you have many things, first of all. If you have Sylvian to restore your limbs, because Henry can remove your limb easily. If you have any fire weapon that allows you to apply fire damage, or a lantern, we don't have a lantern, or like a gasoline canister, and you also need an extra turn so you can survive the fight. It can help if you get heroin, of course, but we don't have the... Well, we, we saved it for the late game because after you use heroin, you have a diva for the whole game, which will not allow you to survive. We're going to be going with this. We're going to be saving the game right here. It's mostly so we can get a small power-up when we get to the Hexen, which is not that bad. How rare is the Samus Snake Amulet? I have no clue. We've got it mid many times, but sometimes we don't get it at all. So I have no idea. For myself, as almost snake, I'm like, I don't know. I don't. And now I don't have to worry about broken bones infection. It's really, really good when that happens. Really, really good. Uh, because we say we don't care about our life right now, so we're gonna go ahead and fight him. We have the weapon to apply fire right here, so we're gonna be going with that. Now we're gonna be relying on luck here. But because we save, we should be fine. So, brown bile for the bob and weave buff. So we can dodge. We couldn't dodge, sadly. Let's see if we dodge this one. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the gas canister. And we're gonna try to burn him. So this is mostly luck. You shouldn't be doing this again. You should not be doing this. 
but only do it if you have saved recently. Okay. Now he's burning right now. So we're gonna go ahead and try to survive until he dies. I don't believe glass sharding in the face does anything. So I'm gonna glass shard the arms right now. Because there's no diva that appears on the screen showing that he's blinded on the head. I'm gonna go ahead and blind the arms. Only fair, yeah? That's very much a fight. That is very much a fight. It is all about luck. And if you have a book, you should be able to just get lucky. Because you're RNG on just having one attack dodge, which is the knife. The fork will one shot you if he hits you twice, but you're trying to go for keeping your arms. Which right now is not working, as you can see. Very unlucky right now, sadly. <clears throat> Let's see. Might as well go for the explosion so we can build a fire. We cannot use brown bile before the fight, sadly. It doesn't work that way. I would love to do it before, but we can't, sadly. <clears throat> and guard turn one, we cannot do it, sadly. It would be nice if we could. We don't get anything about guarding. What we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the bench, well, the fire with us in our main weapon. We just have to RNG one time. That one. Okay. That took a lot of our damage. I did a lot of damage. Right? Gonna apply here. And that's fire. Now we just gotta wait and get lucky yet again. We try one more turn and we should be able to win if we dodge at least two. Two more. Good. We should be winning here. As far as I know. I don't believe he has enough HP to survive my punches, so she should be going down. Yep. That is right. Doing doing the worst thank you for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. What up? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Tell me. Tell us. Hello, Kara. Most also. That's the right. Right about most around. Hello, hello. How are you going? What up? Welcome, welcome. You catch me when I'm one HP away. What I think to do? <laughs> hello, mentor of member. Hello, bowler head. How's it going? What up? Glad that you know my friend November. What's up? What's up? What's up? It was okay. Sorry, over in Termina, we didn't, but didn't do that well. Uh, I can help you if you want doing at some point. We can do a voice and I can help you out coaching, in case you're having trouble. How's your train? How's you? The stream's going well. I was showing that if you have a book of enlightenment and you start in muscle mode, as well as have some other stuff like fire damage and a pep pill or a brown bile, there's a lot of stuff you can have. To be able to kill Henry early game, you wouldn't care about your arm if you need if you have Sylvian book. So right now, we're gonna continue with that plan, which is because we lost arms, we go ahead and we get this, which gives us the ability to boom, we are arms again. Okay, let me test the bot and see if it works. Because this should work, right? This work, but <gasps> it worked! It worked! Holy shit, it worked! It finally worked! <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she wrote for a gentleman. Hey, I wish more of the Moon's Christian had roles to play in the story like Henrik. They kind of do, to be honest. Most of them do. The only one that doesn't is Marina, in my opinion. I may be carrying. But most of them do. Uh, like Levi I will be shooting you with a sniper, for example. <laughs> no matter when went to bed because he has very much today, I'm sure he would have lurked like he always does in your stream. Oh no. November, no. He has to wake up. 
AP that's nuts. Did you fight gentleman for the soul? Yeah. The soul is really good. What mission was delivered? What what happened? I was replaced. This is how to make the research. I was replaced. What? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah the reason why we need to get uh, like we can it's not important for you it's not really important the way I play right now I kind of feel like I need to but you can get Bob and Weave with three Solstons at the start of every single fight if you get Master Chef but yeah it's very it's very useful I feel like no more migraine until Sylvian mm, we got it that's all good you know yeah, I, I can help you out doing. Don't worry about it. We don't need his soul. We abuse our fire. Like, yeah, like it's 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 not it's not massive, let's say, but it it helps quite a bit at getting Bob and Weave. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. That moon scratch will be huge. It will be amazing. It will be beautiful. More likely, I would think of a platoon path. More likely. Okay, so I gotta work on my car. But I'll see you later. I'll since I'm on Monday, Tuesday. Hey, there we go. Doing. See you later then. Thank you for raiding again. Yokoro. Good luck, June. If you're up later, I'll pop back. Bye. Yo, 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 yo. A Murko Leva shooting your arm off. I don't believe they can shoot my arm off, but it would be nice if that could happen. What's going play with Bob? August rule. Let's go. Be nice. Yeah, we got our stuff back. So we're gonna be equipping ourselves the wrench again in case we need to stun anything on the way. I hope Muscrush Pavel will be pig DM. Poor Muscrush Pavel. Now the reason why you want the Sylvian is because you can keep up with mine. I kept my mind high up to a hundred because of it. We don't have a we don't have a small key. I don't believe you can open doors with lantern flail. But I've been told that you can in Massimo, so I'm gonna be attempting it only once. I don't believe it is possible. But we can see. Nope, cannot. There you go. Equip yourself. I branch again, and we continue. Like usual, don't disturb them, leave them sleeping. They're much more useful AFK and moving. We're gonna get this suitcase. Ornament lantern. Really good for fire damage. We look at the Poe. He's gonna be showing up soon. Where's the Poe? There he is. Look at him. Beautiful. Boom, boom, bam. We're not getting lucky with a smokey, so we're gonna be showing the reason why going left. It's bad if we are still not getting smokies by the time that we go there. That so sound that you heard just now was caring. Just letting you know in case you didn't know. You gotta talk to these guys, you go ignore, ignore, you talk about their bluff, you give something, you get cloth. Like why just why? What are you talking about? The tomb path is a moonless Mario Jagas. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Why? I just read what I. Why? Why? What are you talking about? By the way, every single weapon is cool from Avela except the rake. The rake doesn't do anything as far as we know. So if you can get any out of effect on the enemy, it will be really helpful. However, the best tier would be the chainsaw, since it hits 30 times and it has a 100% chance of applying bleeding, which bleeding is amazing. <clears throat> we don't need the coin toss as far as I know, because we're not going back left. I hope we can. Now, 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 we got a really good armor for the head. And like I said before, if we're not getting a smoky, we will be in a pickle. Okay. That is a death mask on the side. That means when we come back, that death mask is going to get up. So if we got to go to the left, we'll be bringing down a... Well, we're relieving a death mask 
to the side of the road. Which is not safe for anybody. No one is safe with that. You should be careful. <laughs> this is again, as I said before, a what to not do with a vela. You can follow any other stream that we have. That was him. And you should be able to ignore, ignore, talk, talk. You should be able to get the same results as the other characters without the need for short circuit. Streamer turns his event to a pickle. Oh no. A pickle raccoon. We're trying our best to loot everything though, right now. See ya, Kara. Good night, good night, good night. Continue going. Yes. Go over here. <clears throat> Look at the Karen. She's beautiful. Majestic even, I gotta say. We don't wanna fight Karen at Rion. That is a nightmare to fight. The one that can actually fight Karen early would be Olivia. With her poison. But other than that, you don't fight Karen early. You just, you just don't. What the key binding of Rev? For me it's R1. It also be a, a W for you. On the keyboard. I made a... I made more tips like this in my video called 55 tips. In case you want to see more key binds and beginner stuff that you should know. Make sure to check the... Make sure to check out the video. This is the thumbnail to the video. Give me a second. Do not drag an image into RPG Make by the way, because it's gonna make it just the image. But this is the video, in case you want to see it. Hello, Afri. Okay, it is true. It's your beautiful fan art that you did. I mean, I love it so much. Let's jump it down. Either wanna throw me a challenge to do Tremina while I watch you. Guns only, Levi. Gabby. All the time. I've just really, I've really got a cake. I don't know why, but that's the only character that actually has like that. I I don't know why Miro did it like that, to be honest. Hey, hello from London. Fucking 3 hour, 10 hour trip to my hotel. You can do it. Angel, you can do it. Power up, power up, power up. Please power up. I believe in you. I have to eat McDonald's. Say, yeah, you can do it. Don't die of poisoning. As far as I know, McDonald's is scary. That's why I hate going there. But I like it. So it's kind of like, a, hmm, should I eat it? Should I suffer the consequences of dying? Hmm. I like it though. Can you enjoy it? It's really good. I love it a lot. Thank you again for it. I really love it a lot. I'm going to have dinner soon, but how's everyone? I'm doing pretty well right now. <laughs> Gun Levi only. Only able to use guns that uses ammo for every single fight and solo without allies. Of course. It could be easy mode if you want, if you're not feeling capable of doing normal mode. We have to go back, more than likely. We're not getting smoky. Difficult, might be difficult. We're not getting small keys. Alright, so this is the reason why you don't want to start from the left. Also, they're doing well. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Afri. Please, everyone in the chat, say happy birthday to Afri. Because it's their birthday. Look at that. And there you go. This is the reason why you don't want to go from left to right. This door can only be opened with small keys, and we don't have one. We didn't get a single one. Even though we had a high chance of getting small keys, we didn't get a single one. So, we are not getting through this spot, and we're. I'm gonna show you the nightmare that it is going from right to left once you came from the left. Uh, this bless me with an Arjun. With the flesh fire or no? 
Okay, so this is what it is coming from the left of the train and then going back to the left once you go all the way around. This is why you should never do this. We have one death mask showing up here. And he's always going to be there at all times. We have one death mask, okay, as I said before. That is not a joke, and that thing will be always there. So we need to remember that he is always going to be there. Ooh. Oh my god. And there we go. Another one. Another mistake. That's why you don't go from the left. He will more than likely body block in the way. We're going to allow this guy to put a bird trap. Now we guard, and we should be fine. Three arms. We don't have a rifle, Sandy. Oh, you get a gun. And of course, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's a high HP enemy. You have to rely on remembering that he's there. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want to go through the hassle of dealing with him. I don't think it was hard. Game of Mystery of Rust makes this game so easy. I know, right? It's a really good spell. You're gonna be sacrificing heads right here. A raccoon, hello, it's the best kill time I see. Of course it is. Hello, how's it going, Discord who? One good thing about this though is that you're guaranteed to get the bonsa and you can get every single one on the right of the moon scrooge citizens. But this I mean well the ones that are scratching their face, right? This guy is gonna be here. Because I left him like that. Now, right here we could get chased. We did not. So like these terrorist masks are triggered by something specific or just by like because I stumbled upon one of these in the church he smoked my party. So in the difficulty that I'm playing right now, which is high difficulty, which is called massive mode, once you go past one of them, they're gonna be remain uh, on on their death mask coffin. Once you come back to them, they're gonna get up and they're gonna chase you. In normal mode and easy uh, normal mode, you have no way of, ch uh, of checking when they're gonna get up. So it's lag based. And there can only be two or three, I believe, that can spawn in your game in normal mode. There cannot be more than three, as far as I know. Uh, they have really good loot, though. If you are able to get the mask, it will increase your magic attack for the whole run. So it's really good. And also, they give you an armor that is better than the leather armor. Really, really good. Um, but no way of checking. And in easy mode, they don't spawn. You don't have to worry about them. Now we're outside. We're outside, sorry. Uh, let me go and head inside so we can reset the timer again. <clears throat> now here... Oh. Well. Another reason why we don't want to go from left. Right here. And now we have another death mask showing up here. This one will get up. We can leave a Vertra if you want. I don't think I plan on going back here. Maybe later though. But at the time of coming back, I should be fine as far as I know. Okay. So another reason why we don't wanna is also the pig here. We have many, many reasons why we don't want to come back to this place, as you can see. So that is not safe to, for you to. You shouldn't be doing that. Always start from the right, and you shouldn't be leaving anyone. That's gonna get you later. I see that my boy Dan lost about hands to it, but like, cool. Yeah. I will show you one way on how to deal with them soon. With the death masks, okay? If you stay with me, I'll show you how to destroy them. Because they're not difficult to deal with. It's just that you have to react to them accordingly. And also, a party of four will also body block the bear trap. Or the booby trap you're going to be placing down. I'll show you. Don't worry. Once we get a shotgun. Very soon. Get all this. We don't have a way to open it because of no short key. I mean, so if you use the same save for multiple bases, you could remember which coffins are infected and avoid them. I guess so. <laughs> We're gonna wait for this guy to show up so we can despawn him by leaving the screen. Okay, he's coming up. And now we leave. We come back. And he's gone. Beautiful. Now. We could go right, since we have Surwinch 
to the library so we can get probably a save with book of God of Fear and Hunger because we don't have one yet. And that could be the best idea. However, going right will have a chance of you getting needles. So maybe you don't want to do that. But with Avela, you tend to get syringe. So we'll see what happens. Right now, I recommend always going left to the apartment. You just do it early as you can. But we're going right to show a different path. Okay. i gonna be going like this. We made one villain not spawn by holding left. <clears throat> if we hear needles, oh wait, no, we didn't kill needles, man. But we're gonna push him away, this guy. All the way down here. Like that, good. If we don't wanna loot, don't loot. There's no reason to. If needle shows up and you hear the laugh, don't go there, don't go, don't go over here to the right. Because he's gonna show up. Probably. There's a death mask coffin here, which is gonna get up as soon as we come back as well. That's another reason why we don't wanna go here. But if you are lacking the book of God of Fear and Hunger, you might as well go all the way here into the book place right here and then loot and try to get God of Fear and Hunger. Of course, if you cannot get it, it will be a difficult. That candle is packed right now at this moment in this playthrough. It usually gives you mine, but it didn't for me. We're gonna get it, getting the money here, which we need. Alchemilia 2, which is really good for killing bobbies because we can get murky vials, which allows us to one shot bobbies in the head as well as kill many enemies that are going to be a threat to us. Now, right here, this guy is a menace. He is a menace. I'm going to be pushing him all the way down. All the way down. And then rush towards the end here. Because that guy keeps moving even though you're up here. And this is where you would put your God of your Hunger if you had any. But of course we didn't get it. So this is a run without Book of Fear, uh, Fear Hunger. Now that guy is here even though we left him down there. So this is troublesome. You see? He is a menace. You should be careful when going up there if you don't have a God of Fear Hunger. Be careful. Now, we don't really have a choice here per se on what to do. It's mostly just us trying to maneuver around. We don't want to go right yet. We want to either take down the guy with a gun that's up here or try to move away from him like this. I wasn't fast enough. I'm sorry. But you would have enough time to move away to get all this loot if you do it like this. There we go. That shouldn't give you enough time. We go back inside. Make sure that Bobby's not looking at you. We wait here. And the second that we go to the right, we're going to have a bell end. So that's why we are doing all this movement. We cannot really come back here. There's a bell in there now. If you do the correct movement like I did as well there, you shouldn't be getting shot by the guy with a gun. If you can kill him, you should, but I don't believe we can yet. So we get this item, because why not? It could be anything. Any food in there. We go here. Showing a shell, arm and lander. Boom, boom. Small key. We got a small key after three years. Holy shit. And now because we have a small, uh, a sewer winch, we're going here. And that resets the timer. And that allows you to survive. But also the game is bullshit. As you can see right here, we have one of the worst enemies in the game staring at us. This is something that can happen. There's nothing to do about it other than just restarting the game. But this guy here is called the neighbor. The neighbor is a bitch to deal with him. And if you get a neighbor here, you cannot go down here at all. He's going to be staying there for the whole run, body blocking the stairs. If you have pep pills, you will be able to run away from him because he gives you 20 agility and it's a 100% guaranteed chance to escape from him. But it feels really bad when you get this spawn because there's absolutely nothing to do than just take the fight. Right now, because I haven't shown it in a while, we're actually not going to fight the Heartless. I'm going to show you the route 
of the church that you can do that doesn't make you have to kill moonless to get to the place we might even be going for ending b only in this run we will see right now i don't believe we're doing uh or oh, careful with that veiling up there you want to go to the right but we'll be doing the route of church That neighbor specifically is the worst map in the vanicula because that is not a well designed neighbor. It just it just body blocks you all the way out. It body blocks you from one of the key paths that you have to go through. And there's like absolutely nothing you can do about it. You just gotta take it. I feel like that's a bad game design. That was that's the only one that I feel like needs to be moved away. We get everything. I believe we got two heroin, I could be wrong though. We go inside the church so we can reset the time and we're gonna go back outside to get the chest and the item that's on the left. It's gonna be useful for us. Pam pam. And chest here. We're gonna coin us. My blue bile, nice. Now right here there's a very high chance that your playthrough will lose. Your playthrough will go down. You will lose your playthrough right here. Because of the fact that we are going to be... Uh, there's, there's octopus here. You know the octopus are very strong. You know the guys, the Garys, are very, very strong. And they're not to mess with. They're very, very bothersome to deal with. And, uh, yeah. It, yep. They're not fun to deal with. Linz, hello, welcome. Very, hello, welcome. Avail a moment in this. But we're going to be looting everything here so we can get anything that will allow us to survive. We light this for more mine. We are dropping down the chandelier. However, we first need the thing. Where are you going to get the bench grinder? Right now, we're kind of forced to do it at the... At the place. Uh, when, when killing the the mob more than likely with a gun. Because we have a gun. We could also go all the way around and get to the forest. But the forest is one of the most difficult places to go. They don't want to show you guys how to get through the forest. And to get a weapon that is really good. Because it takes a lot from a playthrough. We drop this for a metal stone. And I haven't done this in a while, but this is a way that if you don't want to kill the heartless, you drop the chandelier. And you go here. And then you should be fine to continue your playthrough because you have been blocked of everything. Every everything that I've shown that would have skipped this breaking the chandelier and getting the heartless has been void blocking right now. Open the chandelier blocks you from Harless, right? Yep, exactly. Hmm. If you have killed, and I'm saying this again, if you have killed the needles, if you have killed needles, and you have a bear trap with you, and you have a weapon that inflicts any kind of status effect, like fire, or anything, you should go outside, and you should go right. Don't loot anything here. Do not loot anything. Just keep going like this, okay? You don't want to waste any second. Don't loot anything again. Don't loot absolutely anything. Okay. We're going to hear this guy. We're going to move like this. And now we get here a lucky coin. This portrait, which is not really useful. And we're going to go ahead and put a better trap here. We let me kill this guy for a chance of one of the most important items in the game, which is arm guards, which will allow you uh, allow us to shine. We don't have absolutely anything to use here, so <coughs> all this and equipping are just useless stuff. And well, just fight him. <coughs> Should be losing his arm and his leg, <coughs> which is very really useful for us. So we're going for the head. Apply fire right away. Now most of the damage will be coming from the fire, so we should be ready enough for rep three. 
to survive. <clears throat> this guy cannot drop anger. He has dropped for me. At least once he has dropped anger for me. It's not really important for you to continue attacking right here. It's mostly good if you just guard and wait for damage to pile up, to be honest. I like attacking because, well, I like attacking, sorry. This fight also is, takes a while, so make sure that you have healing for this because it might take a while. I even try to blind, to be honest, because I know. Mm. Other than that, this fight is just possible. But it's not something that you should be doing. This is only if you have bird trap and any kind of status effect that allows you to survive. Where is is better? If for me it feels like either going towards or head would be the same outcome. There you go, he has some more HP. You just see that there's no more HP dropping down. So he has one HP right now. There is. He goes on. <clears throat> now we go ahead. And what we're going to do is we go inside this place. And we go out. And we're going to loot him. We get rifle, sadly. So we didn't get anything that we want. We go in. We go out. We cut his head off. And we loot. And we didn't sadly get iron guards. As far as I know, you can get arms with him. As Preso knows in the chat, you cannot get Iron Guards, so it's up to you on how to use this knowledge. Rifle will allow you to have six, oh well, eight now, but it will allow you to have six shots of the rifle, which allows you to remove any enemy's body parts as soon as you face them, which is really useful for you. gonna shards find the guy with a gladiator helmet. I mean he helps and he works for some reason. It's quite weird. Up, up. <clears throat> the way to reset this guy's loot is to loot the head and then you go ahead and cut his head off and then you loot again. But I like moving around in, in transitions like that. Just to allow you to be like hmm what if we roll the dice again somehow. I've been given Arangar from that guy one time, I remember. I don't know if it was before any patch, but I've gotten Arangar from him. Not saying that it's impossible, not saying that it's possible either. But I have gotten from them as far as I remember. So this uh this is a really good way to get Arangars early as far as I know. Don't quote me on that because Preasor exists in the chat saying that it's not possible. Hey the solely end my runs, yeah. They're, they're a mess. Repeat the picture inside of the house too. Yeah. <clears throat> the old picture lets you summon a guy who steals your stuff for rascal operators. The items are not really useful in a playthrough for master mode. So you're not going to be needing the pearls at all or this uh, thing that we just got here. But it's good to have if you want, if you wish to. Hmm. Now, right here, we have. There's a reason why we're looting the rifle you see there is what it is known as octopus inside the church and either if we get an iron guards or rifle they're very useful to deal with them because most people don't know how to juke the octopus people down here and they are a menace they are a menace to most players and if you don't have the agility to run away from them they are really Really, really scary. We get the battle stone from the corpse we dropped before. We light this candle. Get this item. We got a Kassara for no reason. And we drop down. Right here, there's a point of no return. So, once you are down here, you gotta make sure to know where you're going. We are going to be encountering an octopus very soon, which is going to be one of the many things that we have to dodge and run away from. There is a movement tech that you gotta do to have 
to deal with them. But I will try to show it whilst trying to kill them to you, to show you which ones are dangerous to kill. Right now, this one right here is not a dangerous enemy because he will not be running. He's not a running type. You can just stay here and then go up. Or you can just, just go up right away. And he will not be chasing you anymore. We go ahead, we go. I believe it's not this one, but this one. And we get a chest here. That's nice. go here Samari is inside this uh, teleport we don't want to fight Samari because we don't have anything that will allow us to keep our legs or arms we have one of the enemies that are going to be running to us <coughs> which is this one right here and this one right here actually no this one doesn't run this one runs so this one because it runs we're going to be removing the legs because it's going to be a threat so we're going to kill this guy so he's not a bother to us. Hey, try to run with Olivia and it's going better than it's like nice judgment of sleepiness. I'm really happy that you're going nicely. Are you streaming on Twitch as well? You're run, I wonder. So I can watch you. Okay, pretty much uh, any enemy that runs, make sure to just kill them with the rifle. That's really the, mo the, 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 the whole idea on what you want to do here. Because if they run, they are menace you. You can keep up with them by walking, as far as I know. But you don't want to deal with them at all. We have this guy coming up here. There's many things you can do with this guy. But in my opinion, the best that it is, is that you push him in a place where you can juke him safely. Like here we have a four tile with a bucket. You can dodge him there. Or you can go ahead and you push him up here. If he decides to chase. Push mark. Hey. Would you like to would you like to come? No? Right? I guess that's one another way to joke him. You can move it all the way there and then have him lose aggro. This deathmatch will get up. I don't know why he's assigned to get up like that. So right here we're not gonna be dealing with him. We're gonna drop a bird trap. And have it like this. We're gonna be looking for the squid and kill him. The lavender, which helps with our mind. Really good. So that guy will be dealt with the one that runs. If we go down here to the left, we have another route that will have another squid chase us. If you, for some reason, want to go there, I'll show you exactly that this is the guy that chases you. He will be chasing you very fast, but he does get tired. If you want to deal with him, you can do the same thing that I've been doing. Just shoot him. Once they get tired, they tend to not run anymore. So, boom, boom. There you go. I don't have an inspiration to make really stream right now, but I really want to pick it up again. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. I like the people want to watch you. But yes, if we would take the other path, it would be like this. Like the Desma shows up, you run all the way down here or right, and he should be chasing you or running. You tire him out and you shoot him once you're he's uh, far away enough. Now we go ahead, we go up here, all the way up. The guy will still be chasing you, by the way, so you have to deal with him. We have this to open up. I don't know if you haven't finished any run yet. Well, that's the magic, you know, of the game. Once you finish once, it's gonna be. A lot like a different experience for you. That's really good. Okay. We did all that. Why did we do all that? So we could have the loot from this place and we could have a shortcut that allows us to go back to Old Town. Now, if you still didn't get God of Fear Hunger like it did to me, this is the more, the more likely this is the unluckiest run. Every single other run we've been having so far. Has been very lucky. So this is the unlucky run that we have. You would have to tough up and just go all the way back to deal with the death mask here. Of course, you don't have to kill them. If you can remove their arms, they're gonna be less of a bother. But the best thing you can do here is to juke him away. 
if you're coming back to this place, I believe you will have a small key. So let's see if I have. I have two small keys, so I don't get to have to go to the left. If we have to go to the left, you have to deal with the death mask, or you have to juke him away. But if you're coming all the way from the church over here, I hope you have a small key. Because you're able to go through the shortcut that I was talking about since the start of the game. Which is all the way here. All the way down here. All the way into the source. Which is right here. We got a small key and we can open it. We don't want to go through the plank because we have a chance to summon Caligura. Which we're not going to be able to fight because we're weak as fuck right now. So we're not going there, okay? Don't go through that plank. That one. That one, do not go there, okay? Don't go there. Caligura does spawn as far as you know in that plank. That's a granny. And then... Oh yeah, even though I went into the part where you can recruit a villain and then went down to the Major Center, Henry wasn't there, not even Moose Crush. You need to wait until day one at noon to be able to have him appear. Do people find a way to fix FPS already? I'm tired of these lags. No, sadly, we don't have a way, sadly, at all, to fix it. We can remove the fog, but I, I have no idea if that helps anything with your case, sadly. You can join my server and I can give you the a win rod that allows you to extract it to Andrea Ercoli, thank you for the subscription on YouTube. That I that allows you to remove the fog. But I don't know if that will do much. I hope it does, but you can join my server if you want. Discord server. Now we're here. We should be checking our money. We have 82, we still need a lot more. But we are all the way here and we can loot all this. There's a chest there, I forgot. I haven't gone into this place in a while. See? Hey, it's nice. Eye of Sylvian. A really good item that we finally have is Eye of Sylvian, which allows us to heal our mind and HP by a lot more. This heals 30, but because of Eye of Sylvian, you're able to heal up a lot more. Forgot to summon you. Oh, you're, you're in there. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this vacation. This allows you... Yeah. This allows you to heal more. It's really, really good. And it also allows you with uh, beard, so you're not going to be dealing with pain of mind anymore because of this. It doesn't work with smoking. If you have smoking and tobacco, it does not work, so you're not going to be able to do anything with this. A raccoon, Abela. Hello, how's it going, Rudy? What up? Welcome. We're going all the way here. <clears throat> And as far as you know, this plank is safe to go through. Yep. We're trying to stay away from the edge of up there because Caligula will show up as well as an Eber. We loot almost everything here. We're actually not going to be going forward. Oh, yeah. Is there a guarantee way to be able to mix revs? Uh, you can kill Olivia. Olivia or Olivia the Ganger will be able to give you the mixture of blue and red. And this is where this motherfucker is. This is where we've been before and tried to go through and we couldn't. Don't do this by the way, but this is exactly where we were. We we're trying to go down. But the guy was body blocking for us. By the way, again, don't go all the way down here. Just go up into this place up here. And go all the way up here. Oh, but I use Olivia. Well, you should kill... I don't know if, if there is a... Uh, well, if you're signing with Olivia, you need to start with Alchemilia level 1, which is the one that you get at the backstory, which is bringing a book to read. That gives you Alchemilia level 1 right away as the start of the game. That's so how you do it. Now you're going to have Caligula showing up right here sometimes. But he cannot attack. There we go, see? He cannot attack you here. So even if you trigger him over and over again, he will not attack you. He doesn't have an animation for going left to right. While coming out of the water, yet he can only come out of the water going facing downwards. So, yeah. Mostly the plank that I showed you will be a menace to you. Probably chose something else, maybe. It's the last option, I believe. 
By the way, guys, I don't say this often. However, while we're doing this puzzle, which is easy, I would like to remind you that if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe on YouTube, as well as share it around. While if you're watching on Twitch, I don't believe anything else that I can say other than make sure to follow the stream. <laughs> and if you would be feeling generous, either YouTube or Twitch, make sure to click the link below that says donations. Because I don't get paid by YouTube until three to four months, I believe. So I will not be getting money from the support right now in any other way than on donations with PayPal. Which is my Streamlabs link right now. That is on the description of Switch or YouTube. It will show up on screen as far as I know. So you will be shown your support to people here around. And that will be really appreciated. Of course, do not do it if you cannot and you don't have the money. I will still keep working on this hobby that you guys enjoy. Well, after we did this puzzle, we're going to go ahead and go left. Because we don't want to kill Moonless. There absolutely is no reason to you to kill Moonless. Thank you. Removing the fog will ruin the atmosphere. I know, right? That's also how it felt. There's a lot of YouTubers who were removing the fog to make the game run faster, but it looked really bad, and they stopped doing that after a while. Uh, I also think the same, Miku. I also think the same. I don't. I don't like uh, removing the fog. I think it looks really badly, and I don't. I don't think it. It, it just goes away. The, the feeling of like, you know. The, the feeling of the game goes away when you remove the fog. Uh, does the speed of skipping interaction depend on FPS? I don't believe so. You can hold Z. Or you can hold Enter and you should be able to skip frames. As far as I know. That's what you're talking about. So it's a bug. What are you talking about, Camo? What bug? Sorry. I didn't have no money. Yeah, it's fine. To what uh, point should you use French with... Range toss on Avela. I don't have range toss. If you're playing normal mode, go range toss all the time and range toss the bodies of almost every single enemy. You're gonna be able to kill most of it. However, the pipe guys, and I believe uh, Bile, as well as Death Mask, as well as Bobbies, will not die by range toss. But most enemies will die by one range toss. So you should be fine. Um, right here, right now, you are. Of course, it's massive mode. You don't go range just because you want the short circuit to have more uh, places to uh, loot. You don't need to find anything with range just. Right here, we have one threat that is really huge because it has a high chance of not allowing you to run away, which is the granny. As far as I know, the granny is a menace, and either you have a gun to deal with her, or booby trap, or bear trap to leave him stunned. It's not, you're not gonna be able to have an easy time with them. Not to mention, this also has a doppelganger, Levi, which allows you to have more ammo for your guns, which is very important for you to kill if you're coming from the sewers. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to juke this cranny. In my opinion, the best way to do it is if I stay in here. And then move out of the way the last time. And you should be fine. Now here with Levi. We are going to go ahead and equip a rifle for a few seconds. So we can shoot right, uh, Levi. As soon as they move. We shot him. Right away. Now we're going to go ahead. And try to stab him in the torso. While we're fighting him. Because he has... No arms, because both arms share the same limb. If we don't get a stun, it's fine. We're gonna be taking some damage still. Never fucking mind. He got destroyed. We got the rifle, ammo, and the armor that allows you to survive against fire, which is not useful since Avela started with a really good armor that is same as Levi. In a way. We go ahead here. Uh, Caligula should have spawned there. But because we're going sideways, he's not going to be able to attack us. 
And right here we have the place where we need to go to, which is a beautiful place called Rahil Bob. <laughs> this is why people go around from the sewers with either Marco or uh, Abela. Because of this place being so close to you. And this place is beautiful because in this place you have a save, you have a way to regain your mind, you have a book, you have guns from this place and this place. Don't loot from this one because you don't get any ammo. So you loot this, you get ammo. You loot this, you get ammo. And you have also this place which has ammo. And this gives you the map markings so you can see where you gotta go. We turn on all the candles. Even though we free AFK here, we're still gonna get our mind back. That's really good. And if we had got a fear hanger, we would use it there to save the game. Like that. Look at that. Now we got our mind almost back up. And also the song display is beautiful. It's beautiful. I tend to like to just relax here on AFK. And read you guys in the chat because of how soothing it is. And we also gain our mind back. Pretty good. I made on Fanger mode with Avela as a party member in your team. If you have Avela in your team, you pretty much are good to go to just range just anybody on the torso because it's gonna be very, very easy to deal with all the enemies that you have to deal with them. Avela's range shots does more damage than attacking with a normal uh, weapon attack, so range shots could be used easily as a secondary way of doing a lot of damage. You will have to equip again the range shots after you use it over and over again, which is really bothersome and I don't like doing it. It's been a while since I had uh, a Vela, so I remember, which comes with everything you need. Short circuit and range shots. So she's a really good character. You can also kill her later to get the weapons craft, which allows you to have chainsaw, by the way. Don't like killing party members, so I either start the game solo and kill everyone, or I would just have party members, I would not kill anyone else. Um, uh, most weak enemy, exactly. <laughs> I know about the thing, but your skills are way faster. I see my game lag, lag. maybe it's just lag, probably, sadly. Uh, one other thing you can do to skip the text, because it's mostly for text instead of animation, it's just hold W. If you have any, any, any text that has to be shown, you can hold W to skip it like this. If you hold Z while skipping it, it will skip like this. This is with holding Z. This is with holding W. So that is text. Animations is just Z or Enter. How do you know when you should <coughs> use your limited bullets? I also found out... Uh, I found a mid mallet of... I, I think the only chess I actually yeah, got yet. Damn. Well, the way to use your ammo is with specific enemies. Pistola is able to one-shot a few enemies in the game. Shotgun. With double shotgun, you one-shot most enemies in the game that are stunned. Uh, except for needles and the mob and other enemies in the game that are scary. And rifle should be able to either one-shot enemies with two to three to four shots or removes limbs. So if you're trying to remove a limb, like an arm or a... Well, for example, Levi right there, I shot him once and I have their arms removed so they cannot shoot anymore. So it depends on the enemy that you're using. Right now we're going to be doing, um, we are going to be killing the mob because we have a shotgun. I feel like it's very important. We're going to be coming back for that guy if we have enough ammo because, well, because that guy has a soul stone. Only go down here and kill this guy if you have a sword winch. If not, then it's going to be very important that you don't do this. We just got a Samo stick, by the way. Um, this guy is right here, for example. They're really good for guns. So you should pull up your gun. They die. No one shot. Again, only go through this place if you have a sword winch. If not, then obviously decide to not do this that I'm doing. Because with this, you can just easily restart the timer of the moon. Only have the guaranteed gun in the game. Yeah, you should. You should only. You should only kill stuff with the guns once you get to uh, heal Bob. You already save everyone in Maso. You cannot save everyone in Maso. It's not possible. The reason why we're here 
is we trying to go ahead and summon the mob which is the group of three enemies that show up now one of them has a chainsaw that will be fighting you and you have to deal with them because with a Bella you have an amazing ability of crafting a chainsaw right away at the start of the game so we're gonna go ahead and step on this piece of paper right here those four lines right here with on the where the paper is has a chance to summon the mob so we do this and when we hear the bottle crack we run away there you go we go inside and then when we go out we go left right away Now we're gonna shoot this guy down. However, we can shoot up this guy right here. There you go. And then we're gonna shoot uh, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one more shot with a pistol, because why not, you know? Eight, nine, there we go. Well, I was rough by two shots. So there you go. Now, because this guy is a menace, we're gonna go ahead and go inside. And wait for it. I have that guaranteed guy again. I already read that, sorry. That was I was looking for. Thank you for all you think. No worries, it's all good. We go left again. And we're gonna push this guy all the way up. We're gonna get him stuck here until he loses us. Lose me. God damn it. Lose me. Ah. Lose me. Ah. Well, let's just say that he lost me. Whatever. Try to lose their aggro. Then you go here, you loot. You loot. And you get the heads. And then he's coming. For this guy, he's not someone who you should be taking lightly. You'll be crafting your chainsaw. Right away. Equip any armor that you can. Keep anything that we allow. I like how you just broke the game right now because Bremen Lederman, fucking Bremen chest plate, meat grinder, salmon snake, what else do you want? And I guess, I guess Middleton. And we should be able to deal with this guy. Either have healing for him or use a pep pill and only attack on your extra turn. So right here, we are trying to have everything or that because he's not easy to deal with. Okay. Be careful. We're gonna go ahead now. We're going to guard three times if we can. We get rev up level three and we can start doing damage properly. You can remove the ring? Yeah, in this game you can. In the first game, you cannot. We're gonna double chainsaw. It's not about the damage, but it's all about. Just being able to just survive. Most of the damage comes from the chainsaw's bleed. So this is mostly what you're relying on. Have healing. Again, I'm saying have healing for this fight. It's not easy. I have all the I have a really good armor set, that's why I'm able to do this. But have healing. These are very important to get here that will make this fight easier. Physical damage is pretty much weak in Masmo, right? Yep, it's weaker, weaker as heck. We are not doing this place, the Moldy Apartment, yet. Because of the fact that we are not able to safely do it without having our game deleted. If the game decides to kill us with the villain that is outside. We are going to be killing this guy because he has a chance to drop us a, a soul stone. You drop a booby trap, you wait for them to step on it, you shotgun. That's how you use the shotgun properly. We got tobacco, which is gonna help us with the mine. Sadly, I would have preferred soulstone, of course. We do the same with this guy. Hello? Booby trap. <clears throat> Tabaco again. We didn't get lucky, sadly.
we go here up these boxes and we go inside this place so we can reset the timer now we check our money we have 99 shillings so we're not looting from this cash thingy by the name the cashier thingy thing this thingy we're not looting from this <clears throat> we go here like this Catch your Easter, that one, sorry. I'm from Argentina. See, my language is not English, the main one, as they say. Now, you could go up to loot from the chest and the boxes. However, in my opinion, the best thing to do here is to go forward because these things are a menace and you don't want to fight them. If you go like that, you're not going to be getting into a fight with any of them, which are very, very difficult. I'm from Belgium, my monitor is Dutch. Oh, there you go. You know, the pain of not knowing a word. I also tend to forget words in Spanish as well, so it doesn't help, I guess. How about forgetting? If you go up here, you're going to find one of the most important items when you have a chainsaw. That combos really well with a ring, uh, ring of Wraith. I didn't even check my phobia, by the way, until now. I updated the phobia. Not a good phobia to have. We go ahead then. Now, because we left, we, we reached this place, this is when the game gets easy. You know exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. So we're going to go ahead and buy one small thing, Samuelet. We're going to loot from this guy right here to get money. And we're trying to get a second small thing simulated to make this game easy. We got two small th uh, two shilling right here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And there we go. Now we have the two small things simulated that will help us throughout the game. Because when you have two small things simulated in this game, you are able to, and I'm going to say it, you are able to run away from every single enemy in the game with a 100% chance, except for needles. Okay. Almir, god damn it game. Give me fucking anything but Almir. Holy shit. Easy. Hello right here, girlfriend. How's it going anyway? Uh, welcome. Get a soul stone. There's no reason not to get that soul stone, of course. I was like, were those screams? I was like that what I was like, what what were those screams? Look at this screen. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> it's just Shrek. Oh yeah, right here we have a 100% chance of running away from every single enemy in the game. So we're safe to even spawn the death mask that is right here. If you want to. There is absolutely no reason to be afraid of any enemy in the game right now. And that's how you play master mode. You get 20 agility in this place and you should be good to go. Bam, bam. Of course you don't have the shields, it's gonna be difficult. But you tend to have enough shilling if you follow my path, which gives you money that is gonna did have from Levi's tree, from the cash registers, and from just looting around. You should be you know, have enough money, as well as with the money that the character started with. Is this one the grandmother of this game? No. Grandmother would be needles, more likely. More likely. Please give me God of your hunger. I've been, I've been asking for it since I've been born. Damn. We have not been saying for a while, by the way. The ones are elite guards. Anyway, yeah. Never saw this one pop up yet. You will soon. Don't worry. We gotta get going for this guy to have a chainsaw. He's alone. He's not gonna be a threat. There you go. That guy is alone. Simple. So the big things would be more related to the elite guards. That's a record. I'm late. Not really, Willow. Hey, you. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Go to the left. 
Oh, this one. We know we cannot get Garafin hunger. What is this? You can lose from this, 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 and this. You cannot lose from anything else there. A community volume one. We finally got something good, game. We got we got something really good. Holy shit! Thank you for the healing. That took a lot. That took a lot of time, to be honest. Then getting two blue vials going up and turning them into light blue vials, so we have a chance to get brown vial later to fight moonless. If we want to fight moonless, of course. Right here, we're going to be using our gun because stuff will be going down if we get into a fight with them because they all fight together against you and they are a menace. There you go. You don't need a sword if you have the chase, right? Exactly. We have this boy right here who's crying. We're also aiming the gun in a very menacing way, mind you. If you go there, you're gonna get shot and he does a lot of damage. So we're not gonna be going there. We're gonna be dropping down any hole that you want. And we're gonna be shooting down the boys. We need to save two ammo for the place above. If we don't save two, you're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> or three if you wanna be safe. So right now we're gonna we, yeah, we're probably gonna save three just in case. 86 to 86. Okay, we don't get anything from that. That is currently glitched for me in this run. But you also equip your gun so I can run. Cheeseburger. Welcome. You cannot run without with the gun outside. You either run or shoot in this game. This guy is alone, so we're gonna fight him. Mm. There he's gone. Just like that. I was thinking, no problem. I have more tips like that in my 55 tips. That includes, I believe, 23 tips for beginners. So you should be able to check it out if you want. Small things, Emily. We have two. So we can run away from this guy at 100% chance. So we're gonna fight him. We're gonna go for the head. And if we miss, we run away. There we go. Easy as that. We got a free soul stone. We got a free head. Head, nice. Arm guards. Okay. We have the salmon snake so it's not really useful but we have arm guards now if you're in the train but decide not to stay does the stay they still go by yes 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 it does so do not not save always save very important to you to save yeah 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 uh oh dirt toilet paper yeah there's a section in the video it's which will tell you that there's beginner tips and then there's medium tips which are much more for people who are into the game, let's say. Oh yeah, we're gonna dispawn this guy. And then there's hard tips which are for people who are professional in this game. That more than likely they don't know about it. If you wanna check out the video. Oh. We go ahead to the right. And we are gonna go ahead and go all the way up we saved our ammo so we can deal with the cherubs that are on the top floor which are gonna be a menace to us oh did not see him because i'm blind as fuck we're gonna go ahead down here first and we're gonna do this place because why not we'll help me Maybe it will. Chantrell. We're gonna have to fight Levi here. Although, 
maybe this will not be a good idea, yes. Because I can show you something you can do against Levi. Might be better. If you chosen range toss, you can actually cheese Levi there. I don't have it right now. We'll be getting it soon, though. Might as well. <coughs> we deal with this guy. So he's not gonna be a threat to us. <coughs> Is there actually any other... Give me a second. <clears throat> Is there actually any news? If the other contestant will be playable... <clears throat> yes. Tanaka will be the next contestant playable. Because he won the... Uh, there was a vote that people had to do. To vote on their favorite character that will be playable later. For Mira to decide. And Tanaka won next to Pav. So we could be getting Pav. But we're obviously getting Tanaka coming up. With maybe, maybe Pab. We don't know if Pab is going to be showing up with Tanaka. But Tanaka is confirmed to be an, the next player character. We don't get Book of Enlightenment. We don't get uh, God of Your Hunger. What is this run? What is this run? What is going on? Oh, no God of Your Hunger in this run. Because we don't have any way of saving right here, we should be able to shoot this guy to death. Because we kill Levi. So it's gonna be uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. We're gonna shoot him with a pistol then. And maybe one shotgun. Actually, one shotgun. Uno, and one shotgun. And one pistol. I mean. There you go. That's how you deal with him. If you don't have the ammo, well, you're gonna have to do something that I do with him in the other playthroughs that I did. For example, with the Osa, uh, with Osa, you are not able to shoot him. So make sure to check what I do with him as Osa. Oh my god, finally we got, got off in hand. Holy fucking shit. Are you gonna play a summary? She's kinda cool. She didn't get that many votes, sadly, so maybe we're not gonna be able to see her yet. But I feel like she's gonna be fun. I have an idea on how she will be playable, though in the future, in case you want to uh, listen to my pep talk on it, maybe. All right, and we finally got to the Hexen. It's not needed for you to touch this. You come with a chainsaw, you have enough damage to do this. So it's not really needed for you to touch this. But if you want to, I'll show you what happens. You would have a lot of soul stones. I don't believe you will have like all that you have right now. But you can get range toss, which allows you to kill Levi effortless. And you will be able to either get, of course, Red Arc, which allows you to just destroy the game. I don't get it because it's just way too broken for my taste. And we get Master Chef if you kill Henrik, which gives you Bab and Whip for any star of fight. You will also, if you pray for Sylvian, you will have. Loving Whispers, which allows you to heal yourself. And Heal the Whisper, which allows you to heal your whole team. Maybe Pheromones for a zombie or two. Or a Calab, so they tank for you. Maybe you can go for Black Smoke if you get to go to level 2. There's many things you can do here that will allow you to break the game. Per se. But it's nothing that will be... You know, game breaking at all. You, we could have gone to the Moldy Amari to get Fire Feast, Appreciation, Counter Stance, and Adrenaline Rush. But it's difficult to come back up once you go into the apartment. So the best thing to do is just to not. But yes, uh, all this will be able for you to be gathered if you want. Um, uh, well, that's pretty much it. You don't want to fight them, they give absolutely nothing worth it and now we have the full crafting of penny band that gives you evasion but you guys when you mix them like that give you evasion for five turns at the start of your fight <coughs> so as a henry skill it's really good this allows you to just touch as soon as the fight starts because we have the range toss i will be showing you what you can do with it in case you did get it from either the start of the game or from character creation. When you go down here, you will be chased by Levi. 
Wait, you see? Okay. Uh, you ranged us the torso, and there's a 95% chance for you to stun the torso. This will be pretty much what you do. <coughs> pretty much. <coughs> you have breath 3, <coughs> you normal attack like this. <coughs> then you will range us again. Like that, you will keep the stun going. <coughs> Yeah, Levi is in quite the pain, I gotta say, sadly. It is what it is. And that should be the fight against Levi. <coughs> Putting all his misery. You cannot cut Levi's head, so you don't get a hit from him. From him, sorry. And... Well. Might as well steal the balls. I want Tanaka to be playable, man. I want to play him. It's going to be so much fun. <clears throat> don't go up here if you don't have speed. <coughs> if, you if you watch my experience, you will be able to know how to properly dodge these guys without having to, uh, to fight any of them. So if you check out my speedrun, you will be able to see it. I might make a video of it. Since it's pretty easy and anyone can do it. I think he gets up, kind of OP. Yeah, he just becomes like a silent heal enemy that just doesn't die. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna encounter him so the other guy doesn't arrive in time. We got the ball, as fast as I know, let's see, try again, yep. There we go, get nine balls, really good. I will be showing how to, maybe I'll make the video on how to probably get through this part without getting into a single fight. But other than that, eh, not that difficult. I believe the ghouls are still up here, so we cannot go back up. Let me check real quick. Yeah, they're there. They're happy to see me, though. I believe if you get out and then come back in, you should be able to spawn the birds. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> We're going to be checking it together. You and I. Are they here? Nope. No, no. Now we have the place where we can donate our heads. And the balls that we stole. Easily. <coughs> we also have... I forgot about this. I always forget about this. Sorry. <coughs> Let's go to the right. My guy is a kid. Or no. You get this <clears throat> right away. You fail it and you should be able to take this board with you. By the way, there's something to do here against this guys. But I really don't show it because it's very, 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 very fucking unsafe but if you're fighting the guys you can with the chainsaw only being the only one that can do this you can kill one of them one of the three cherubs and then you're gonna be hit twice one is gonna apply the bleeding effect and the other one is gonna leave you a one hp but then with a hundred percent chance of running away you can run away from the fight and continue fighting i would never recommend doing that and you should just either bear trap them so you can kill them and then deal with them that way 
<laughs> I, it's up to you though how to deal with them. I would recommend you just run away. They're really quite the menace to you, my opinion. They're not worth fighting. There's more stuff to loot up here in case you want to keep looting, by the way. So if you want to continue the looting, you can just go here. <clears throat> yep. To anyone who's uh, listening to me right now, I might be... Um, I might be in cap stream. At night, and uh, helping him out, coaching with... In muscle mode. Maybe we will be with cap later. Who knows? I don't know if he still is able to uh, voice chat with me. <laughs> because he's shy. We're next to this guy, and right here we can use a talking board to talk to them. We go, is anyone out there? He goes, this is me. Your balls, he says, and you're like, can I do something for you? What do you mean, your balls? And he is, give me your balls. Of course we cannot give him balls, because we, we're going to use them for ourselves. But after you loot them, you're going to be able to find Ring of Wraith. And that allows you to survive against most enemies in the game because this heals you each time that you end up um, not doing anything in any fights. You just heal passively and it sucks pretty well with Lichmonger so you can survive any fight. Now we're gonna go ahead and offer the port of a young man. And we go with a young man dancing in his bathroom. So what happens today? Actually his birthday. So right here we can get Lichmonger if we didn't get it. We can get Ring of Raid if we didn't get it. We can get Yagetsu. If you want, which gives you critical chance, which is eh. But it could be good if we just won. Uh, we get a shotgun as well, we get a molar. I'm... this is whatever, you shouldn't get anything out of this. It really is not worth it in Master Mode. Mm. Since you know where to get everything. If you don't plan on killing the priest, then maybe you could be getting the Ring of Raid for... for, uh, for uh, pearls, pretty much. Please, why is it so good as a game? Holy shit. <laughs> We might be going on the ending V only, by the way, because uh, I don't see a reason to kill Moonless in this run. And we're, we've are we been going through every ending V and A. And this is mostly, I would say, uh, this is mostly a guide on how to not tackle master mode. Because we've been doing a lot of mistakes for you guys to see what not to do in this game mode if you're playing it. So we're probably not going to be tackling ending A for this, and we'll be focusing on ending B only. Just saying, just letting you know, guys. This guy here, this Inquisitor, cannot be stunned, so you cannot put a booby trap on him and then hit him. This guy will show up. We're gonna sit him back down. I believe we have shotgun ammo. Let's see. Yeah, we do. <coughs> Wait, the priest does that? <coughs> does what? <coughs> what? The priest does what? What? What happened with the priest? Love me, dead body. Yo. Now 34 shillings. What can we buy here? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know. <coughs> I guess Harry Harry key to one. Tobacco if you're having a hard time with mine. And Soulstone if you're feeling ballsy. What about the priest? I believe you might be back in the the in the, in the stream, back in time, maybe, I don't know. That's where you have the sewer winch in case you want to get it and you haven't got it yet. Uh, this is mostly, I guess, on what to do on the stream, I'm guessing. Yet again, I'm going to say it. Because we have gotten the worst lag in the back here. Oh yeah, no, no, there's a priest. That's one priest. That's not the priest. That's only if you mess up on the talking board. In the end. If you mess it up, uh, the, the priest will be hanging. But that's another priest. That's not the priest that you fight. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, going left will allow you to get to ending A, which is activating the generator at the bunker. I'm not going to be going to the bunker because this is one of the few times that I we had a really bad playthrough. And I feel like it's much better to just take this as a how to finish the game fast enough 
with all the mistakes that have been happening, which is not getting good loot, not getting out of your hunger, going to the left from the train's uh, starting point. That can happen if you end up outside too long at times. Uh, pretty much Nils gets replaced with the Gold Brothers. If Nils is still alive, he's also going to show up and combine the strike with the Gold Brothers. So, yep. Don't allow that to happen. We're going to be killing this guy because he's not really a threat class. We have enough damage to kill him with the chainsaw. The only thing I don't know about this game, it happens. It happens all the time. It's all good. Give me your hey. <laughs> we also are not killing Heartless because we had poor lag. Pretty poor lag that doesn't allow us to properly go for ending uh, where we have to kill Moonless to get to Harvest. So yeah, there's many reasons why we're going to only go for ending being the run. It's also going to be a faster uh, run than usual because of that. But pretty much this run just allows you to see how many mistakes you can make and how to fix most of the issues. Which is pretty much what you look at when you they got a Vela, they are able to fix issues with short circuit, with branch toss, stuff like that. They also have the damage enough for you to continue dishing out your whole team. He's pretty much the mother of the team when it comes to <coughs> having possibilities and being able to break the game safely. He's also the best party member you can have. When being at work, Sever, hello, Stan. Doing fine, how are you doing? What up? Welcome. Tell me, tell me, what up? What up? What up? Oh. Uh, that's my brother screaming back. Sorry. He tends to yell at times. <clears throat> I'm doing fine, said. How are you doing today? I don't know if I did. Oh, yeah. I did ask. Okay. We're back here. We are going to now go to the moldy apartments to kill Marco. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, we do have bleeding, so we have a high chance of killing Calibra without having to deal with him. So, um, not here, maybe later though. Calibra does uh, suffer one of the things that I, I would like to say, that is, I don't think it's a good game design, but if you block, if you guard, he does more damage, and he already has enough time to kill you, so if you don't get lucky or have a weave or have the dodging ability you will struggle with him a lot so yeah i'm tired i'm sorry to hear said sorry i'm here having fun playing abella really happy to see you here we're not gonna be going left anymore there is no reason to we can get money but and buy stuff like a hard and hard but yeah we're going to be going to the multi apartments. <clears throat> uh, we dealt with them already, so we can. We still would want to just restart here on the timer. That's just life. It is true. Up, up, up. There you go. We have the balance coming down. We go inside. We're going to just accept that we're stuck here since august says moonless is his family pet does that mean that it's a descendant i have no idea well my theory 
my theory is going to be on time. So I think... I, re I read Homestuck, so I have really bad theories when it comes to character development. So I don't think you want to hear my theory about what is August, in my opinion. Because it's some dumb shit, usually. <clears throat> Very dumb shit. Hey Raccoon, good luck with this. Thank you Toto Lota, I don't believe I've seen you here. Thank you for the good luck and welcome. Thank you for being here. Again, my that's my brother yelling, just saying. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, my internet's gonna die in an hour. <coughs> it tends to happen. <coughs> it tends to happen. Tell us more. You can get a free uh, this thing here, so you can trade the balls with the guy. Tell us more, he says, or she says. Okay. So, do you actually want to know what I think about August? Is that really something you wish? Hopefully, hopefully not, but I will be waiting until people say in the chat. Sorry, I had to reset stream because we had... Oh, today by offering could you repeat what you said? You probably don't want to hear my theory. Yeah, pretty much. They are... They are pretty much Homestuck theories. If you read Homestuck, you know where my theories come from and they usually bullshit. Well, yes, I don't think uh, anyone wants to listen to them. Let me do this real quick. 13, 2, 6, 1, 1. Nope. We got then 2, 11, 13, 6. Now we got it. I mean, I would like to hear him. Um, no. <clears throat> Since we're in a place where it's kind of racing and sleeper, where we just don't have to worry about anything, we might as well, uh, you know, I, I might as well tell you the, the theories, I guess. But, uh, give me a second, guys. So, um, by the way, follow this path if you're doing this movement. But my theory when it comes to August in this game is that he is a time traveler. Same with uh, Kaiser <clears throat> showing up out of nowhere in this game. Out of nowhere at the end of the game. Kind of feels like time traveling could be a thing in the game that has its own rules or either that or people's uh, people are able to survive for longer enough for them to not age enough because of how this is because in this world you are born with a soul that allows you to shape yourself based on what you want or based on what you've been born to the fact that you can show up with a soul that allows you to command other people the fact that you're able to show up with a soul that allows you to grow with time, that you're very weak. The fact you show, you can show up with a soul that just marks you as an asshole for the whole run of your life. That kind of stuff makes me think that there's no way, no way why there shouldn't be any kind of like story element that allows a character to survive for so long to the point that they even are able to properly adapt to a community. That's what happens with Argos, in my opinion. He ends up adapting so much to the point that he is a character that is completely different and just names himself something completely different to the point of calling himself August instead of Ragnarok. and more than likely because he is the one who takes down uh, well Kaiser in the end he tries to at least take him down you can see that he has determination for a reason there's no it's not like 
I don't I don't think his kid or son or anything is gonna have any grudge against Kaiser in any kind of way. So in my opinion, it's, it doesn't really make sense to be someone else than just August in the end. That's gonna be asking for revenge against Kaiser. Because in the end, uh, Ragnarval did meet with the other characters. Ragnarval did have lose. He lost somebody at the party because as far as we know, Dars is alive. Enki is the one who was also alive, I think. Uh, I don't think there's anything about Kahara, though, I think. A global voice. But the fact that it is someone who's acting up as fighting against Iser, it is enough for you to be like, oh, okay. It is August. He has scratch. He has held the scratch for so long. It makes so much sense that it is August. For no one else. I I don't think there's a reason for you to deal with anyone. If like your father from like for so long he like dies to somebody. Like it, it doesn't feel like it makes sense. It's been so long since that happened. You cannot hold that grudge for this long. Times change so much. You wouldn't even know who your father was. It only makes sense that August is still alive, right? That's how I see it in my opinion. They also have the same skill, which is something that is highly, highly, highly incriminatory. It shows that he's the same character. He has the same skill. He uses the same bow. He also has the same cointos. He's, he's August. There's so much to it. <laughs> Hello, Sandman. Hello, Goon. This is how it goes so hard. I love the soundtrack. I read Homestack 2 then. I guess I can handle the weirdness. Yeah. Give me a second and I kill, right, kill <laughs> my brother right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's the center from Ragnarval since they have same soul both proficiency with bow and what he tells from Ragnarval have been just reading down with August and Constant Kaiser. Maybe. But they are the same in everything. Everything. They are car like cop like a, just a copy and paste of the same skills. Copy and paste on the same way that they react. Copy and paste on everything. And why do they hunt Osa? Is a question. More unlikely because of their experience with yellow mages in the first game. There's a lot of reasons, in my opinion, that show that it is Ragnarok. And even if it isn't, I'm just still gonna say it. And that's how Homestack works. Stuff can be true to yourself as long as you allow it to be canon enough. That is Homestack. That is homesick in a way. And also that is why I'm saying about time, time traveling. It helps a lot as well with the narrative. Because you are have no way of saying that it's not because of this is a game. Stuff can happen and it can be explained later with bullshit. Because that's how it is. We don't know how these people live because it's a completely different culture on everything. I think the theory I can disagree with you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey Charlie, hello. Welcome. We're going all the way down here. We're gonna be looting as much as we can. It's not needed. If you can, try not to loot. Because stuff is gonna get down here. We go down here. And we go here. Now, over here, we either have to be really fast to go to the right. Or go all the way down into where Levi is. Because the timer will be rolling rain down. And we have killed almost everyone, I believe. So like the only way to then travel canonically with the cube of step then that makes things more complicated. It's not time traveling, let's say, but it could be time traveling, but it also could just be how people live in this world. We don't know how much time they live here. We don't know if the uh, the effect of aging is even the same as in a real life. What if aging only happens when you encounter a ghost and that's why people look like old. But you know, all look old because of that exact thing. Like there's many reasons why you can make up so much dumb shit when it comes to making up a story. And it will make sense as long as you explain why it makes sense to you. That is exactly how it is. That's what Homestuck is all about. Just making it, making the reader just sit down and push away every single 
<clears throat> way of thinking and every single way that they can go through with the narrative just to allow stuff to happen and accept it. They accept that characters that are like brands as well as, you know, real life characters uh, exist. Stuff like that happens. Let's assume not every gamer is good as you and some may not make any time. What happens to them? They die. You just die. Outside, if you say too long, you die. Become your moon scorched self. It's what reinforces his body to survive. We also don't know like what ending he got, like what stuff he ended up doing. Because he could have found a way to survive. He could have found the same way as Enki to survive. Like it you don't you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into lore to the point that it makes no sense. But it's gonna be fun because people talk about lore that way. I don't like talk about it because I don't enjoy when a conversation goes from I like lore to I think you're wrong because your lore makes no sense. That's when I don't talk about lore, when people are like that. And there's been a lot of people in this, in most of my communities that have been, who disagree with how I take lore. And I don't enjoy it. And I end up just talking about lore with myself at the time. Oh, Bob. We have speed enough to deal with Dobby, so it's fine. All right, so I believe we can go over Karen to kill her. We can also go with Samurai to kill her. We can go with Sergio to kill him. So we're gonna go ahead and go all the way to, uh, well, let's go to the Hexen. It might be easy right now. We also can deal with uh, Aligura. Actually, we're just saved right now. So let's deal with many things. Right here, we deal with this bullshit. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and take it easy. We have an extra turn, so we're gonna guard. And we either go for the head or the torso. It's up to you, to be honest. It makes no sense. Like, it's the same outcome in a way. You're RNG in the same way. <sighs> we're gonna go ahead now and try again. See if we get lucky. And next turn, we're gonna go ahead, rev 3, and just go for the torso. Let's see if it works. Ah, this fight is far in as hell. Honestly, there really is no reason for me to be fighting this guy. I hate this guy. This is one of the worst enemies in the game. If you're gonna be fighting them, more than likely you're gonna lose. It's it's a it's a it's a difficult fight. You don't win anything out fighting them. That guy is just there just to be a bitch, and that's why I said that that is the only thing that should be changed by Miro, as in game design. That is not good game design, in my opinion. Leaving that guy there. Let's go ahead and heal. We're gonna be killing Caligula. For Caligula, we need to have uh, as much survivability as possible here. So we're gonna go ahead and get Iron Guards, Remy Chestplate, the Helmet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get two small things done with it so we have an extra turn. And this fight is mostly about applying fire and bleeding, and that should be enough. Caligula, please show up. Caligura, please show up. Caligura, please. Caligura, please. Caligura, please show up. I might have to kill this guy. He's not gonna show up, is he? Okay. All right, listen. Oh. Tomo showing up very soon. What? There he is. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and eat evasion so we can actually get lucky on this fight. Go for torso because he has a hundred percent chance of light bleeding right here. And now we are gonna go ahead and try to burn him. If we don't burn him, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Okay, he's burning. Now we won the fight. That's pretty much the whole fight. Hmm. 
I got boy blocked. Fuck you. God damn it. We throw up because of nauseous, we're gonna kill it. Right here. Uh we can kill Karen. We can kill Summary as well. We are gonna kill those two before we leave. I don't believe we can safely kill Summary though. Like honestly, a hundred percent. I don't think killing Summary is something that we can do right now, right now, right now, because we have. Uh, I mean, if you have the armor of the museum, you can kill Summary right now. We have the. What is it called? Uh, we have a Salmon Snake, which we can kill her right now. If we don't have Salmon Snake, don't fight somebody. Right now we're going to kill Karen first though. Let me check the game, uh, the comments. Give me a second. Chat. What are people saying? Well, I believe that what you tell them until you give them reason not to. Exact. Well, yeah. I don't know. It. I don't know. It, I don't like. I don't like having to re uh, like say you something. And then it's like, I doesn't make any sense. Your theory sucks. Stuff like that. It's like, eh. Oh, so my, how does that mean my brain still disappears when I try to understand? But it's beautiful. That's what I like about it. I understand my own way. And even if people say something else, I just tend to just go with my own thing that I get from it. Can't wait for a dating team in this game with sort of fun. Oh no. No. You sure it does not matter if you head go head or torso. I would think you would get less chance to hit the head than torso. You have less chance to hit in the head. But the thing about it is that they are really tanky enough that it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. They're really tanky. You shouldn't fight them ever. You're way too merciful, it happens. How do you guys look like I imagine it is what it is? Does it matter what CG you you use? Yes, uh, every single sigil does something different. That one leaves a save for me to use later. Or whatever they want. We're gonna go ahead now. We're gonna kill Karen. Karen is mostly about applying, yet again, the same debuffs. Fire. And... Bleeding. Kill somebody now, she serves no purpose in life. Soon enough, we're going back to summary. We're gonna get her. Don't you worry. Okay, we go full heal first of all, because this thing can hit hard, so we actually are going to use this, and we're gonna go ahead, and uh, <clears throat> this fight is scary, so we are going to go ahead and get Bab and Weep, we can dodge most of the attacks. If we can use a pet pill, it will help us rely on less items that we need. If you want, that is. <clears throat> you can also get a Ring of Wraith and Lichmonger if you go with the pet pills. Maybe Yagetsu, maybe. So we are going to use a pet pill because we have five. This gives you an extra turn. 100% chance. So Yagetsu. And either Lichmonger or Ring of Wraith should be able to give you an upheal. I have like this, so I have enough defense. And we're gonna fight her. This fight is scary, this fight is scary. It's, they are scary. Not able to be fought properly without being scared. We go for Dorsa because the guys on the back will not attack you in the first turn. She does a lot of damage though, so don't... Be, be careful pretty much when fighting this shit. We go ahead and hit and try to burn with bleeding. And that should be the fight. <clears throat> we just now survive. There we go, that's the fight. If we don't apply fire, you take a lot of damage. So be careful with these fights. They're not easy. Go ahead and we get something like this. There you go. Pass the kill. You fight it. You'll see what I mean. You fight it. Don't worry about it, Charlie. You'll see what I mean. Once you get him. 
go back here. Go back there. Like this. We're gonna go ahead and kill somebody only because we have Salmo Snake. If we don't have it, you should wait until the museum to get your Salmo Snake, uh, your armor. That pretty much gives you the same effects as Salmo Snake. And once you combine all the armor, you should be able to get legs and arms protected. When in that burn, pretty much. Do we have any after the stream? Sure. I will, Charlie. We don't have full HP, which is gonna be scary against Samari. But we have recently saved, so it's all fine. Samari hurts a lot. A lot. And getting Baba and Whip does absolutely nothing with her. With her. So we're gonna try to do is that we're gonna... I believe this one gives you damage. We're gonna get damage here. Yep. To try to do this fight faster. We get Samo Snake and two small things I'm it. Or one pep pill and one small thing I'm it. Uh, sorry. One pep pill. Like this. And a Samo Snake or the armor of the machine. I said, uh, thank you for the $1 donation. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, how's it going? What up, Cap? What up? Welcome. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, tell me. It's almost... Okay, sorry again. Uh, it's almost like... We need to survive against this fight. So Ring of Raid or uh, Leechmonger would be good. Or both. We can also go for Yagesu for if we're feeling cheeky. So I feel cheeky right now, so we're gonna go ahead like this and go full damage. We need to keep uh, magic resist with this, so death mask will allow you to survive. Well, also anything that gives you all the worldly resistance, like this one, for example, will lower the damage of uh, hurting that she does, which is mostly what she's doing that does a lot of damage. You can also do a, a go ahead and put a very fine talisman to increase your magic resist even more. So this will be good. Right now, you cannot attack. If you attack, you're dead. So you guard. You cannot attack. Double hurting will kill you here. Charlie, thank you for the kitchen on the Twitch. Thank you so much. Welcome to the team, buddy. You go for the head, of course. And then you guard. Now, after this turn, you should be able to kill somebody if you get lucky with a critical. If she goes double hurting, it's fine. We rev once, only one time to increase the damage, and then we go ahead and we attack. We missed. We miss. But because we have Leechmonger, we are keeping up with the damage and the heals. So let's guard and continue playing passively. Next turn we go pull out on the head. Oh no, sorry. And she would die with just one rev and one hit to the head. <laughs> Even though we missed before. There we go. See? It's like I know the HP of these enemies. It's scary. Well, yeah, thank you so much for you two guys, Charlie and Cam, for your generous donation and the subscription. Thank you so much, buddies. Highly appreciate it for me to continue with my hobby. Thank you so much. Uh, again, if you don't have the armor of the museum, you don't fight this thing. If you don't have Samus Egg, you don't fight this thing. Hurting removes your leg or your arms, so you don't fight those things. You don't fight these things. You don't fight them at all. Don't fight them. Now, um, the nerf the mass, the, the dots, it will be harder. Yeah, if they nerf dots, this strategy will not work, and I will have to do another one. Uh, another set of videos for you, so you we're gonna have fun breaking the game with other strategies. Uh, dots is not the only way to win in this game, as you know. In mages have more than just dots to break the game, so you should be able to just break the game easily with magic, for example. But yeah, dots are not nerfed in any game, even the first game. So yeah. Oh. There he is. Last shot, Gun. Might as well dream this guy. Dream on! Can you remove the cleaver to 
do not lose body parts. The cleaver. What cleaver? Cleaver? What cleaver? Hardly. What are you talking about? Cleaver. Cleaver? Uh, should I save? What phobia do you have there? Phobia? Should be fine. <laughs> I don't believe I gotta come back here, though, so I should, you could just save here. But the guy you don't want to fight. We fought them already. Uh, we fought Henry already. We lost our arms and we got it back again by drawing Sylvian on the floor. Um, the cleaver has more HP than the torso. So, nope, you cannot. It's only there for you to stun it with a, an item that stuns. So if you have a stunning item, you can stun the cleaver and then you can go ahead for the torso safely. This is master mode, which is high difficulty of the game. Well, you're not able to have party members, so even if you could stun it, you wouldn't win that much out of that because you have the other body parts to deal with. Oh, yeah. Give me your... Oh, stone, please, please. It's all the world negatives. Me. Kind of curious what happens if you don't squish the snails. As far as I've been told... This is something I've been told, okay? They can go into the pool of blood, uh, blood that they are in the game and they can reform into the same enemy again. And that's pretty much what happens. Uh, you fight them again if you don't stomp on them. Scary, very scary. Alright, we missed everything, so we're gonna go ahead and run. Because we have turn agility and run away. With turn agility, it gives you a 100% chance to run away from enemies. We'll try again. There's something I haven't tested yet, but can you kill this guy with torso damage? In mass or more? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, you can, you can. That, that was a huge as fuck bleed. Yep. Yep, you can. Some enemies bleed for more HP than they have because they were given more HP in a different filter to allow them to be taken down with dots very much. But yeah, some enemies do have different HP bars than others. <clears throat> are you sure think? Yeah, you can. Yes, you are able to. However, they are not a threat right now. These guys are a threat, however. Those guys are very difficult to deal with. And you don't want to deal with them at all. That's why you go ahead, you booby trap. You shoot them like this. I don't have a booby trap. Well then. This is a pickle. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna be... So we still can run away from him if he gets into a fight with us, but... There are minutes under this. Who's that girl? Thank you for the subscription already. Twitch! Hello! Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for using your Prime. Thank you so much. Welcome. Mm -hmm. This fight here can be cheese as far as I've been told many times. By using Murky Valve. So we're gonna try that. However, if you're finding this thing, check out my other videos that I've done. What you can do with this shit is you can actually run away from them and you kill them by running away. So, yeah, if you can run away, just do that because you save on so much by just not having to deal with this thing. But we're going to show here what happens if you use a murky valve, which I've been told that it is how you fight this thing. For me, it has to just run. Let's find your skill and then run, of course. Let's see, Murky Val. There you go. And that's fight. That's the whole fight. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, Were you safe? Can I agree with what happens if you don't squish it? Oh, you read it. Oh, sorry. Uh, Avila missed like 12 times in a row. I kind of like. Well, it's hard. So you only have like a very small chance to hit. It makes sense. Fair enough, Rainwash? Yeah. Is this a Moonscore version of Sam Samara? No, it's a Moonscore version of uh, Marina. But yeah, again, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you so much, Postgirl. 
if you're here thank you so much it was very kind to just subscribe like that out of nowhere i appreciate you a lot if you are here and you have small salmon snake you should fight osa because it's not that difficult however we do the same thing as always we pep pill and we equip either ring of rage leech monger or the two at the same time i feel ballsy so i go yagetsu and we equip magic resist for this fight of course we have to equip the bremen elite armor so we prevent getting stunned forever so that should be everything we can also bob and weave the if we have a weave we can bob weave the rats we get more damage with this food buff and also we apply purifying talisman for less damage taken and that should be fine for you to kill osa the first turn remember that you need to have either salmon snake or the armor of Yisun. first turn you guard that can't stand you if you don't have the helmet that i'm wearing or one of the helmets in the wiki that tell you that can actually prevent stunts. And that's the reason why I love the strength buff combined with Yagetsu. Yagetsu increases the crit chance by 15% and the full buff increases your damage by a lot. Which, which guy are you going to do after this? I'm probably going to show how to go through the orphanage and how to dodge the... the well, the spirit of on how to do the movement technique on the orphanage with the br br run heals. More than likely, that will be it. Oh, helmet can prevent stun. It, oh, like the ones that are called helmet on the name. Maybe that makes that makes more sense actually. That's really good. If that is how it works, that's, I, I I'm gonna applaud Mira. If that sounds really good. Uh, we don't want to lose arms against this thing. So if you fight this, there as a physical character, there is absolutely nothing I can tell you that will make it this fight easier. Maybe killing Marco and getting perfect guard will allow you to safely kill this thing because perfect guard allows you to prevent limb loss however i honestly have no clue to be honest because this fight makes no sense uh, he can easily just in turn one remove your arms or just not do anything at all and just deal damage he also has high enough damage that you need to constantly kill healing with lichmonger over and over again. So even for me, if I go right now with Salmon Snake or Iron Guards, it's gonna be a tough fight because I'm not being able to kill. And I'm gonna rely on just healing items. Which if I don't have a Camellia, it's gonna be a really hard fight. So this fight is mostly about just getting lucky on how you get to this point or saving and then fighting him afterwards. If you apply bleeding, you have won this fight. If you don't apply bleeding, this fight is hard as fuck. So make sure to apply bleeding before losing your arms. And that's pretty much the whole fight. If you can get bow and whip with this full buff, then also works. I'm gonna go ahead and get the full defense because this fight hits very hard. Oh, actually, we got evasion. Sorry, I completely forgot. <laughs> uh, this gives evasion, and I believe this one gives defense. Okay. So mid pie gives attack, vegetable pie gives evasion, mushroom tree gives evasion, and this one is goulash gives defense. So yeah, you should always be getting either meat, vegetable pie or mushroom stew for evasion. And this will help a lot in this fight. I have a tag right now, which I'm not going to use since I have evasion, which is, is, is enough in my opinion to survive this fight. And that's pretty much how the fight goes. What? By the way, in 20 to 25 minutes, my internet might be going down and I will have to reconnect. Just saying, if anyone is wondering why I suddenly disappear, it's because of that reason. If you have a phobia against this fight, you need the defense buff or the evasion. You need it. It's not that you want to, it's that you need to have it. Otherwise, this fight will be impossible for you. Because he deals a lot of damage. And a lot, I mean a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and cheekily just go for the torso. I wanna see how much I'm bleeding for. I actually never went for torso. And it could be better than torso than, than arm. Who knows? Oh, a thousand and f uh, two hundred on the torso? That might actually be enough. Yeah, but that might actually be enough for the next turn to just have him run away. 
So maybe going for the torso is better. Let's see. If you run the boy right now, going for the torso is a lot better than going for the arm. Okay, he didn't run away. So going for the torso is not the best idea here. Right now, the best idea for any playthrough is to go for the arm. This one right here. Don't go for the torso. Torso, even though you get more bleed damage, he has more HP in the torso than I expected. So just go for the arm all the time. There you go. That's fine. Hey, yo. Hey, Pussycara, hey, yo. I haven't posted my Discord link in a while. I should be posting it here in case anyone would like to join. So here you go to anyone who is watching the stream. All right, we're going back up here so we can get the chest, which could be something good or something horrible. Absolutely empty. And we only have three moon scores to go. Tanak, wait, Tanak, I said. Uh, Olivia and Dan will be the only ones that are missing out on killing. So we loot this, we loot down here. There's really no reason for you to go south and push the box, in my opinion. I think you waste way too much time with that. And you screen the shit twice. And that usually tends to glitch with the game and you might get moon scores. So I think it's not a good idea. Pav's body is up there in case, like, up there into the, the right. In case you wanna get his ammo and his head for a donation to Pocket Cat. Tails, that sucks. Right. Heroin, nice. Book of Enlightenment, that's really good. We use our save here, because why not? <laughs> Should be fine. <clears throat> we get this. Hello, Deka. <clears throat> How's it going? What up? Welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> my throat is giving up. <clears throat> Sorry. We get agility for later. We're gonna go ahead and get more damage to a running rush. We get bomb whips. We can keep up dodging. We don't get perfect guard because it's glitched. With meditation, sometimes it glitches. I believe I could get spice so I can spice white uh, rot so we have more damage. <laughs> we could <clears throat> go ahead now and engrave so we can get more speed. We can get advanced algorithm which allows us to have more red points right away. We are also, I guess that's it on everything that we can get. But this is pretty much how the build will look in the end in case you want to copy it. For more build ideas, you can check out my other guys. Which you can just steal into just using Avela with those builds. You don't really just have to use, use this build with Avela. Like 100%, you can just go ahead and use it with anyone. But it helps a lot. We go ahead and we will engrave our head with speed because it's the only one that actually works for anything that is not a challenge, which allows you to have speed enough for you to have enough uh, speed with just one small thing, it, which is massive. And now. We're gonna go ahead and more likely heal up full to uh, high HP. Sorry. Uh, full HP like this. Give me a second. Sorry, we saved. Um, we have a chest here on the right. I don't think I need anything else right now to do this challenge. Uh, your theory according to us, the, what a thing to say. The lack of this trying is incredible. I mean, it, <laughs> it went decent, I gotta say. We, we got luck at the end, so that's pretty good. At least we can say that. We're gonna kill Pokeka right away. I don't really care. Actually, no. I do care a little bit, I think. Because I will not be showing one thing that is very important. Which is pretty much... Uh, we need to get Book of Alignment from Pokecat. We're gonna go ahead, this thing can actually remove arms, so let's go arm guards. 
And let's go Yagetsu. If we get Balsy. And well, that's pretty much the whole fight. We are gonna cast Baba and Weaver at the start of the fight. It's a lot easier to win this. Is this more scorched Olivia? Yes, it is. <clears throat> yes, it is. If you have one we more than likely you will be able to survive this because you will dodge at this once. If you don't, well, you should have totally saved before doing this. In any fight, if you have one weave, you should always guard. You never have to just rely on just straight up just attacking like I did. Right now, because I just saved recently, I might as well just do it like this. The two parts, body parts of, uh, well, not body parts, sorry. The two, um,. The two pieces of the museum that give you the armor that allows you to survive uh, against Heartless, for example, or allows you to, well, to keep your arms and legs. I'll show you exactly in a second. It should be this one piece. And should be also, I believe, should be right here. No, wait. Uh, it should be going all the way up. And then once you reach the top, should be going right. Also, your bills look like this one, or at least the ones I have seen a few times. Think about it that it's the only way to keep Master Mode uh, reliable for people to play Master Mode. If I wasn't playing Master Mode as a guide, I wouldn't be showing this. I would just be showing other builds. That's how you get the other part, by the way. And you should be combining everything into this piece that allows you to survive and have your limbs together, which is the fluid armor, which requires three parts. One at the mansion where Henrik is, the other one at the over here, and the other one over here. This puzzle is always the same, so you go ahead, you put it like this, you put it like this, and that's it. That's the whole puzzle. We're not gonna be doing ending A right now. We're gonna be killing Pokemon and we're doing ending B. We're gonna also try to do this fast enough so we can actually keep the stream up and we don't crash. Pretty much is like this. We get pet pills. I believe that's enough speed. Yeah, that's enough speed. We go ahead, I guess, because why not? We will survive with that. We got two, I guess, so this will be better in my opinion. We have a. Can we cast another one? We cannot. We're gonna go ahead and craft defense for this fight and save the other one for later. We can heroin ourselves because he is the last contestant we gotta kill. We also get mine from heroining ourselves. Uh, we have everything that we want. We have anti limb loss. We have uh, damage, a lot of damage. We thought we pocket cut. Uh, there's a few signs. Is this the best go for physical? Yeah, for physical damage characters, this is the best way to do it. For magical characters, you have other ways that I've shown. And I will be showing other few ways to do it per se but it's not really like if you've seen one you've seen them all pretty much if you've seen my magic build you've seen my physical build pretty much the only one that actually changes a little would be olivia which is the wheelchairless <laughs> lady by the way you can go for the head or you can go for the body against the sky is still the same if you have anti limb loss and you have bleeding or fire or poison you should be able to this fight easily because the damage will carry you but if you don't have it, this fight is a mess because he can attack at any moment where you're fighting him. And also, he will be able to stun you for the whole fight if you're not fast enough because he has a chance that he will stun you for how many turns he decides to do it. And you will not have a, a turn until he, you die, more than likely. But if you have bleeding fire or poison, you will be winning in the end. Let's see if we can do this whole stream in just one go without having to disconnect. We'll see. We get heroin again. Might as well. We got Pepe as well. You have to kill this guy to be able to get this ending and you gotta kill every single enemy uh, contestant in the game. But it helps quite a bit, so yeah, let's do this. We apply all our buffs, we check our stuff. We need to have our armor so we can so we can keep our arms. We need battle stone so we can survive against the second phase. Uh, we are going to go ahead and either Lichmonger or Ring of Wraith. We can both go with both. We can go Yagesu as well if we have balls enough, just full Yagesu like this. 
but Bellstone is a must. So either Bellstone, Bellstone is a must, and then either Lichmonger, and yeah, I guess so Lichmonger and Ring of Rage to survive. This fight is hard, so make sure to keep yourself healthy for this, and make sure that you have everything that you want. You can also go ahead and craft a Bram Battle for this fight, which makes it even more, uh, well, to go even faster. And if you have fuller armor, you should be able to survive the second phase. That should be it on everything, and I hope you enjoy this fight. Of course, uh, it's either physical damage or magic damage you want here. If there is really one that is better than the other, you can go ahead with whatever. In the end, there's two abilities that hit physical damage in a single phase, and two abilities that hit with magical damage in a single phase. The first phase against Perkel, there's one ability that hits you with physical damage, and the other one, the other one ability hits you with magical damage. So it really doesn't matter which one you go, you will be suffering nonetheless. Armor doesn't really matter. And as far as I know, I think Rare does... Wait, no. No, 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 no nothing. 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 That's it, pretty much. It is more short Olivia? No, this is more short uh, Abella. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that, that, yes, that, that moon scroll we fought before was more short Olivia. I really, really remember uh, reading from you. Sorry. Hello, hello, bastard alert. How's it going? What up? I'm late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And A really underwhelming. It feels very underwhelming. That's also why I don't go for ending A. Well, we can go towards our head, it's whatever, to be honest. It doesn't really matter. You can go however you wish against this guy. This guy has the same HP pool in both limbs. So it should be fine for you to just go whichever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and heal right now. Full heal. I'm gonna go for the torso. If he dies here, it will be really good for us. Because we'll be full HP against the second phase, which is the moon. There you go. She died. Uh, he died, sorry. If we don't kill this guy and he takes a turn, he will buy, die by bleeding. You wanna, you're gonna end up with low HP against the moon. Uh, make sure to keep your full HP for second phase because you don't have time to heal. It's a very difficult fight. You can also play Verifying Talisman in the second part or the first part to lower the damage that you receive to make this fight even easier. We're very close at the usual time that happens that my internet dies, by the way. It's 6.17 p.m. right now. My internet usually dies 6.30. We're trying our best to spear on this as much as we can. Let's see. So first turn, if you have a uh, limb protection, you might as well uh, cast brown bile so you can increase your damage right away. It helps quite a bit. We also could have done a uh, spice white into um, into rod so we could have gained one more red point and one more turn of adrenaline rush to allow us to have more damage for this part. But it's fine. It's whatever. It's why it's not that hard. You can even just go ahead and just. I guess attack like this. If you have all the buffs and you don't you have healing, you might as well just stack to be honest for this fight. You don't you're not gonna lose because you have Battle Sun which allows you to survive enough. And you're not gonna be dying because well it's just a moon, right? Yeah. Then you can just either guard or heal right now. I I, I guess I'll choose to heal because why not? This fight is easy. And with meditation, you should be able to have rep 30 after every single uh, time that you guard in case you're going for a rep 30 build. Like for example, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna guard right here and we're gonna get three rep in the next turn, which will allow us to attack two times in a row. Right away. But if you lose your mind, if you lose your mind and if you don't have an, a better stone, you are forced to have a coin flip and if you lose a coin flip, you lose the game. That's pretty much it. And that's the whole game. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide of Avela. This is mostly to show how you can recover from mistakes with Avela with Short Circuit and what to do if you're not getting the correct books and the correct um, roles that you need. So this mostly helps you as a player on how to fix mistakes. Avela is a character that can be played in many ways that we've been playing so far. So there really is nothing else new to show than what it is. I also show in a route a route that involves not killing Moonless in case you don't want to kill Moonless, of course. And there's more to it, of course, right? But uh, that's pretty much it. It's a character that is able to power up easily and makes it so that you don't have to suffer. Because Short Circuit allows you to have ammo, allows you to go through places that you shouldn't be able to. 
and it's just straight up a really good character for master mode because of the utility that you get and you also get weapons craft as soon as you start the game and you don't have to kill a vela which is a very strong moose coach and the chainsaw is a really good thing to have every game i hope you enjoyed the stream guys we are going to be raiding somebody over twitch so if you're here on twitch please sit tight and we'll be raiding a friend of mine or maybe a fear hunger um you know play it right now so let's see who is streaming that i know of robin i swear to god i was raiding somebody and you decide to show up when i'm raiding thank you so much for the raid but holy shit you i feel like you knew about this i feel like you knew about this robin god damn it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid, but god damn it. I was actually seeing that you were ra you were <laughs> that you were streaming. I was like, should I raid Robin just for the meme? God damn it, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Prancer. Thank you for the no problem, Pussy Girl. Thank you for the subscription as well. But yeah, th thank you, Robin. God damn it, sorry. I thought you would be doing any game like a noob. No noob. Listen, we didn't in B, we're not going any game because this run has been shown that every single thing that happens can be fixed easily so we're trying to fix mistakes with this run it's mostly about people who have bad luck this run is for people who have the worst luck pretty much and how to fix those mistakes especially with going to the left instead of going to the right uh, at the start of the game for example i have no idea of anyone here i don't know anyone right here who is streaming right now Hako City is streaming though. I guess I can I can read Hako. But yeah, again, guys, thank you so much for being here. We'll be raiding Hako City because I haven't actually seen him until I look hard enough. Hopefully it works and you guys are raiding with me. Is it working? I actually have no idea. Uh Bonnie Bonso, hello, I'm sorry, I'm, I need a stream, I'm so sorry. I actually have no idea. Hey, it's it's a raid work working? Question mark? Okay. Oh, there we go. It works. Okay, good. It works. Uh, yeah. I'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be here the day after tomorrow, probably, because tomorrow I have a technician, uh, technician coming in to fix my internet. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bo oh, boy. And people over YouTube, I'll see you guys later. Later.